Hi everyone, Tony from Act the Movies here. And we've reviewed the two Michael Keaton Batman movies. <laughs> and a lot of people uh, think that they're going to see a movie called Batman 3, but it's actually called The Flash. A movie that's very long overdue. It took a very long time to come out. And it's apparently the end or the rebirth of the DCEU. But was it good? People were saying it's the greatest superhero film of all time. Let's find out today on Hack the Movies. It's time to Hack the Movies. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Frank. Hello, Tony. Ciao. I just want to give you a heads up. I'm not the Tony you know. I'm from a different earth. I, I, I traveled here. The Tony you know is dead. The good news is, on my earth, there's very few differences. Hmm. Um, like hair? Yeah, hair. I keep my hair pretty pretty buzzed yeah. on my <laughs> earth. Yeah. Huh. And the only big difference I could tell so far is that Ezra Miller is just an actor everyone loves who never gets into trouble. So okay. I can't talk about anything right. that happened on this earth. Let's just focus on the movie. Isn't that this earth? I feel like we all, maybe like the whole world changed. Maybe the they whole, merged. Right? Maybe they, they merged. merged. The whole, yes. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yes. But anyway, that. anyway, everything is the same. I'm Tony. You're Frank. You're Crystal. You of have course. 10 kids. Let's get what? into this uh, <laughs> review. Now, um, I'll ask how the kids are doing afterwards. Um, <laughs> Well, no, I got to no see this. universe has that. Not a single were those, universe. Were those the babies that were being caught? <laughs> All ten of those kids. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so Crystal, when did you see this movie? Last night. Oh. Yeah. Wow. What, really. Nice. Opening night. Really late to the game. There, Frank. I want to thank you uh, for getting me into that advanced screening where we got that nice of poster course. and everything. We you, got to see the movie early. You, me, and a million other people. And a million <laughs> other people in the past sure month of seeing Every it. single person saw it already. That's why there's yes. literally, last night there was like barely anyone in the theater. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, I have to get like my ticket quick. It's going to be like, Phil, no. Nope. No. Because <laughs> everyone already saw it. I think it only, it only, it pulled in only like, uh, it's somewhere around 10 million open, or 7 million Thursday really? night. It was really? Thursday night was 7 million, and they were gauging for a 65 to 90 opening weekend. Hmm. Yeah, they're not so, going to get shit this week. Which, you know, I mean, for a Flash movie that everyone's been waiting for for 10 years, I don't know if that's really that. Yeah. But I mean, no, but there average, were a lot of people average. who were kind of in it for the cameos that were getting leaked, but yeah. we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, initially, uh, I wasn't excited for a Flash movie because I'm not the biggest fan of <sighs> this universe, as we've talked about. Uh, but after uh, seeing The Flash, how they were in the Justice League, both versions, um, I was like, okay, I'm kind of on board for a Flash movie. Uh, I really enjoyed the TV show. I stopped watching. Frank powered through to the powered end. through, Whoa. baby. <laughs> powered. If you want to review the it? finale as well? Was it worth it? Was <laughs> it worth it? <laughs> 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 Crystal, Crystal, that's a sensitive topic. <laughs> Don't. Okay, it's I'm only so been sorry. a few weeks since it ended. It's a I'm sensitive so topic. I love Grant Gustin. I love the Flash. I love the storyline. And then it just started to. You watched it slowly crumble. But we're not here to talk about. We're the not TV here to talk series. about that. We are. Although it's it, it is interesting. Like <sighs> the week. Like two weeks or a week after the first episode of The Flash aired, they announced Ezra Miller as the new Flash. Yep. And now, like two weeks after The Flash ends, the Ezra Miller Flash movie finally, finally comes out. out. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's like, well, I, so nine so seasons crazy. of a TV show so, have gone by. We still didn't get The Flash. So yes. I did the math, right? Yeah. There's 182 episodes, 40 minute episodes. But if you round it, if you, you know, if you do the math on that and yeah. then figure out the hours, they had a, a little bit over 7,000 hours of Flash footage, right? Yeah. For a TV show yeah. where it took wow. almost 10 years to give us two hours. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do the math on that. I had to do it. I was like, oh, and man, that's that not, hurt. That's, that's hurt not even counting me. the big crossovers and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, exactly. Um. Hi, everyone. Tony from Earth279 here. On my world, we have no such thing as a VPN. It's a world full of chaos and misery. Luckily, you get to use today's sponsor, Private Internet Access. In my universe, I'm constantly being spied on by hackers, ISPs, and who knows who else. All my personal data is just out there for everyone to see. Luckily, Private Internet Access is a virtual private network that hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. One subscription to Private Internet Access will allow you to protect all your devices at the same time. 
You can also use it to stream movies on the biggest streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon that might not be available in your country. For example, I really wanted to watch the hit Italian film Un Figlio de Nomi Erasmus, but it was not streaming in America. But thanks to private internet access, I was able to watch this wacky Italian comedy in its entirety. Use my link to get an 83% discount on private internet access. That's $2.03 a month and four extra months completely for free. Protect yourself from hackers across the multiverse today. So yeah, right. the movie is finally out. It's directed by Andy Muschietti, Muschietti. Uh, which is Italian for too much spaghetti. I'm so happy you speak Italian. Yes, I and unfortunately, never unfortunately, Frank's sister's not here right now, so she can't correct that. So everyone, <laughs> I'm going to Italy for a wedding next week. Yeah, and I will make sure I say that. Wait, to wait, if every, they give you too much spaghetti, go move <laughs> Your face is going to be so punched in. <laughs> uh, who directed the It movies, and he's now directing like the It prequel. I think okay. did they announce like an It prequel? I know I'm they were sure. doing a TV series. I don't know if he's involved. Yeah. I just assumed yeah, he was involved. that's all I know. Um, so yeah, that's happening. But those uh, are good. Just those, the, the It movies aren't bad. They're okay. The second one kind of it was interesting. tonally went a little all over the place. But that first one was really solid. Yeah. I didn't mind the second one. Yeah. Also just got greenlit for uh, Brave and the Bold. Yes. he just For yeah. Batman Brave, Brave and the Bold. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm going to put my phone down here. Oh, I nice okay. So yeah, um, I guess we'll talk, we'll just go through the movie a little bit. It all starts um, with ordering a sandwich. Yes, it starts with the Flash ordering <laughs> is, a is sandwich. Is that even a sandwich? Like, What's what the fuck? It was peanut ordered? butter, yeah. raisins, uh, cheese, yeah. Je jelly. Yeah. yeah, but it's to establish the whole how he has to like take in like a ton of calories yeah. and stuff because he's constantly yeah. burning them. Yeah. Uh, and the guy is very slow, which is no, funny. Everything's slow. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so he decides he needs to get out of there. He now has yellow lightning, by the way, but sometimes it's, blue lightning. So it's the suit. So the suit uh, stops, you know, the or helps conduct the, the, okay. the, so it doesn't build up in him. You learn through the, through the Okay, movie. yeah, that's, right, right, that's right. That's why. So that even when later in the movie, when he takes off the suit, his, he's blue again. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's the suit that, like, okay. has the conduction. I had not um, So when, later in the movie, when the other one has a suit on, is it yellow? So it's yellow remember. when he has a suit on, but when he first gets his powers, it's blue. Yes. Fuck, things I don't notice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did, There's so much other stuff to look at and figure out. I did, was uh, colors was, was not. Yeah. I loved um, <laughs> uh, when Alfred calls him, played again by uh, Jeremy Irons, yes. who I share a birthday with. Love. Oh, look at that. We're birthday really? buddies. Oh, that's adorable. Yes. Does he, someone tell Jeremy Someone Irons. tell Jeremy Irons, okay? He's a Does lucky someone guy. more famous has yeah. a birthday? <laughs> someone else in this movie has his birthday just the same day as me. Um, I love the whole, like, where the credits start to show up, but then it gets interrupted. Oh, my God! Flash! No. <laughs> Dude, I kind of like funny. that. That yes. was funny. I do like that he has a little glass that goes over his eyes. I'm like, that makes Pretty sense. Cool. I feel like all the flashes yeah. should have that thing. It makes sense. Uh, yeah. I wasn't super crazy on the suit right away. It kind of grew on me yeah. throughout it. I like the full suit. The helmet, a little bulky, which yeah. you know, we've been talking about for you know the past year or so since we've seen, yeah. seen the helmet. Um, that whole kind of opening scene with the girls kind of losing their minds and yeah. this and that. You can kind of get the vibe that this is going to be a little, you know, jokey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, something. you get that vibe right I do away. Love, yeah. I do love Jeremy Irons. I do like Jeremy Irons more comedic because uh, as much as I didn't like Batman v Superman, one of the best moments is when Batman's like, Alfred, what's happening in the city? And he sees the monster and he goes, how best to explain that? Like, he doesn't know how to yeah. like describe it. So I do like, he's like, yeah, my first choice was Superman, but he's busy. He's like fighting a volcano. <laughs> Henry Cavill on the TV. Yeah. Yep. yeah the back of his head. <laughs> how many first options were there before me? Like, and then Wonder funny. Woman uh, wasn't answering, yeah. but I think I know where Wonder Woman was. Where was she? She was in that weird myth mythical place bringing Shazam back to life. Oh, that's right. Which you would have known if you saw Shazam 2, but no that's... one saw Shazam 2 except for, that's I think, right. me and Frank. Did you? Yo. Yeah, no. Yo. So me and Frank saw Shazam 2. So yes, at the end of Shazam 2, Shazam dies at Lincoln Financial Field, I think. Yeah. Uh, and they ha Wonder Woman shows up at the very end to bring him back to life. So she was probably doing that during this whole thing. Crap. I love that sequence though with the dragon and yeah, that was cool. That's... Shazam, the Shazam movies are okay. The second one, no one saw because yeah. they thought it wasn't going to count for the new thing. And I'm like, yeah, but it's so good. Just go see it. Anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> we get this whole first action sequence where like the Flash is basically just there to clean up a mess while Batman Ben Affleck 
goes to chase the Falcone <sighs> son. Which I like. It's been a while Very since cool. I read Long Halloween and whatnot. Uh, does Falcone have multiple sons? Because this doesn't seem like holiday, but yeah. maybe no. it is. But we're thinking that he has two, right? He's got two sons and a daughter I, in I there. Think I, right? I know he has a daughter, Sophia yeah. and the holiday. Al- Albert, right? Albert. So I feel like there was a third one. That wants to take over the family business, so Yeah, that's why Albert's kind of pushed out. Pushed well, now I just have an excuse to reread my favorite book, yes. Long Halloween. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Batman is dealing with that. I uh, hated the look of this. Really? Okay. Hated the look. I hated his cape. His cape was so distracting to me. I don't know why. I don't huh. know if it was just too CGI ask. It yeah. just I the beginning of this entire movie, I just hated the look. Yeah, of okay. It. So I hated it. it. I like like on a script level, I like everything that's happening. Yes. yes I'll agree. But like I like where he's um the, you know, like the the building collapses, the babies fall out, and like he's about to save them, but then he like eats instead because he needs more energy. Yeah. I couldn't get behind that. Yes, I know you were off. into the baby the falling baby. stuff, the whole Batman thing coming down the street, which he does use guns again. Are, are we still cool with Batman using guns, even though it's on his? So, bike? so here's the here's the thing. Here's my thing. Can't you use something else? Batman that shoots out and hooks him to something. My else my or? thing yeah. with Batman. I, I'm okay with him using guns, kind of like Christian Bale did, as like kind of like a tool, Got not it. a means of death. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem was that Batman v Superman, he was just mowing people uh, down with a chain gun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same thing with Michael Keaton. He's just at the end of that movie, he's like, I'm just going to shoot them. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just feel like it should be like a grapple gun that shoots out and then hooks yeah. to the pole or something to yeah. stop the car. Yeah. More but gadgets. no, no, no. So uh, I like yeah. the idea of everything, but yeah, the visual effects Hated oh, were rough. They were really bad. In this it scene. Just... So they took, and like, the whole time, like, I feel like I should be enjoying this. But yeah, so I know they had a stunt double on the motorcycle and he wasn't wearing a cape. Yes. That's but right. I feel like they I, right. they probably digitally put Ben Affleck's face on him and it just it looked was. weird. It looked all bad. And I will say also, for me, I don't know if it's just the theater I was in, mm-hmm. the music was way too loud. I don't know about you guys, but we didn't like have every a problem with that. Really? Yeah. The music, like the the voicing, everything was normal, but for some reason that opening scene, mm. I almost felt like I had to cover my ears because it was mm. so overwhelming. That happened a few years ago. I saw Spider Man Homecoming and it was like they were going so overboard. Wild. Actually the other night I saw Transformers the the Rise of the Beast and like the music again, the music was loud, but the audio was it got I guess someone fixed it like early in the movie but for all the trailers and everything all the voices were super low oh really and the music was just blown out I don't know yeah. it was just in this movie we didn't have like, that yeah. problem that could okay. have been no, a theater but problem we did ha- like, oh, I'm it, like, I hated all of I'm this I'm like really weird to where like there's a lot of uh, sounds going on in the movie theater. It's like the beginning, so like everyone's like still eating their popcorn. <laughs> yeah, you were you were you were having like anxiety still, like, over talking it. and stuff. Well, and, like, this is and I'm so focused on something that I've been waiting ten years <laughs> for, and all I can hear is just all the sound around me to where I felt like my vision started to blur. <laughs> <laughs> it was like uh, like I get weird. So, but there's a difference between you going to the theater because it was packed yes. versus me yeah, actually yeah. going on and like opening night, yeah, yeah. but going open night when no one was there. <laughs> oh, yeah, like there yeah. was now, no noise. Well, like I said, I thought it was a fun. <laughs> I should have waited. <laughs> Visual effects yeah. aside, um, I did enjoy the idea of the scene. I know you didn't, but I like how he uh, how he lined everything up to be like a Rube Goldberg thing. Yeah, uh, and I do like how comedically it just kept getting more escalated. It's like, oh, there's also now a therapy <laughs> dog. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he has to like put the kid in like the microwave and everything. That's kind of you know. I feel like a lot. Someone, to put someone a kid on in the Twitter has they, they can't breathe. That. Someone on Twitter has reversed that footage to put, have it put the baby That's back crazy. in. That's funny. I uh, just feel like you should have done, like, bring in, like, Mirror Master or Captain Cold and have him, like, you know, maybe, like, the yeah, one because the from only... the hospital or something. Or even working with, you know, the fat Honestly, kid. Honestly, yeah. And give him, like, a whole, like, how Flash, you know, really uses his powers now. Instead of just having CGI babies fall. If you have a mm-hmm. battle scene, I feel like you could have worked the CGI a little bit yeah. better with Captain yeah. Cold or something. I'm thinking about it. But in yeah. the films, we haven't gotten any of the Flash's villain except for Captain Boomerang, Boomerang. and he's dead. And he's dead mm-hmm. now. He's yeah. dead now. Which they're saying and that he's going to come back eventually. That's I mean, he Gunn could is. now. Everything's everything's but, fair game like, now. It's a Flash movie. Give me a Flash villain in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, there are know, no like actual yeah. Flash villains no. in no. it, which is a little bit of a bummer. But brings me to Flashpoint, to where it's like in the beginning you have all of his villains right there. Yeah, that would have like, been cool. There's like a whole battle right there, like like that. And, but and keep in mind, keep in mind, 
This is like a because of this universe and how like kind of all over the place was, it would have been nice to have that building up. But there's really yeah, it would have been a lot to put all those big villains right away in the beginning without at any least history. Have one. Huh? Yeah. At least one, or like at least one show him. Nice. At least showing him him kicking ass because yeah. then you go into the movie where you see like a totally different yeah. shitty version. But I mean, at I least guess, show him being bad. Well, ass. The, I think it's to fit with like the whole theme where like he's there to clean, clean up messes. Up. I get it. So and then he creates a mess that he has to clean up. Well, I get it thematically. Don't. He shouldn't be anymore. Like, yeah, he like, he, yeah. like I mean, he proved himself in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah. So, which is know, canon. Should, we'll get to that. Is that canon. is now canon. So have him, you know, f actually fighting people. Now. Yeah. So, at least, at least one thing instead of just he, it, the, like the use of his powers in that beginning scene was just mm. boring and shitty and catching babies. No. Catching babies. But um, he, but yeah, the the Batman <laughs> stuff was fun. Uh, when no, it did, it like, when, when it was finally it was. Ben Affleck yeah. in the suit. Did something happen to his nose? I'm oh my god, yes! What was up I with his nose? It was horrible. It was like, it was like I, I, I was like, did we miss a scene where he got like punched or something? <laughs> he his turned to air and he's already laying a little yeah. bit. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I don't know if that he's was been like, snorting too much mind. coke to stay energetic. <laughs> <laughs> keep in mind, guys, this movie was being like rewritten and reshot like yeah. all year long. So bad. I a lot of the visual effects and stuff I kind of forgave. No! Uh, because of, like, everything that was going on. I um, don't. For a movie that I, has this much fucking money and they took this long, <laughs> uh, no. You have no excuses to get it the fuck right. Well, here's the thing. I did like when Wonder Woman saved them. Yeah. Who's a beautiful woman that we all love. Um, especially uh, Ezra, Crystal. Uh, 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 the Flash loves her, too. Yeah, I do love the, the Lasso of Truth stuff. Yeah. Where Batman's like, my ego is far too big that for me to say that. He's like, I created this persona. But, and then Falcone, he's like, I also have father issues. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And then the flat, the, yeah. the topper was just the Flash being like, I know what sex like, is, <laughs> but I haven't experienced it. Uh, People think that's like overly done with her. But like, yeah. I don't know. I, think I it's enjoy so it. Fun to it do. was fun. Like, it on. definitely but the flashline kind of was like too forced. I was yeah. like, ah, yeah. like yeah. all those jokes started like where I feel were very forced in the yeah. beginning. Like he's gonna be the funny man, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. Jesus. yeah. Um, but I do like uh, <sighs> the Batman's like outfit. It's like the blue and the gray, the classic blue and the gray. It's but then like he's a got shiny, Batman. yeah. But then he's got all that armor on top. It would have been nice to see just like a we see a blue and gray suit later on that it doesn't yes. get used. I thought it was cool. Um, but yeah, so okay. it was nice seeing like the Ben Affleck be like a Batman that I. Would have I would have liked to see this version of Batman? I would. I hated this version. I like this one. Ah, uh, I, like, I just hate the like, way he looked. I hate maybe it's just like the CGI. Just okay, threw yeah, me out. I, I, the visual effects during the chase. I'll get you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. But like, well, other than his weird nose, which I don't know. What's supposedly going. Ben Affleck said that while he was filming, yeah, he, he had a lot of fun with he it. He said that he figured out how to play because they didn't do the voice changer thing on him anymore. Yeah. It was just mm -hmm. his own voice. He just went a little bail with you a little no. more heavily. But I mean, he said that this is where he fe he figured out how to play Batman as a character, mm. as like a human, yeah. instead of just a hero, yeah. and said he had a lot of fun with it. And then people were like, "Oh, he's coming back!" But he's not no. coming back. I I feel bad. He got a, like a really bad he's, he's like. Of, I think he's my favorite Batman. Mm. Shit, cut it. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I the way that he, I just really, I'm a huge Ben Affleck fan yeah. from him his his writing and acting through the years and that. Yeah, and you know, you saw Hypnotic last month. And I think he did a really great job with Ray really? Batman in this. Yeah. Really, really. What was yeah, your favorite yeah. scene in Hypnotic? Uh, the the new Ben Affleck movie. Everyone should go check it out because I loved it. And you love the director of Hypnotic, right? Uh, Do you watch Air? I watched Air. Air was great. Loved mm. Air. Okay. You got me there. I didn't see Air. No. But no one saw Hypnotic except for me and Joey C. And we reviewed it on this channel. Jesus. Anyway. Um, I gotta watch it. See, I can't get into Ben. He just looked, to me, he's just a pretty face. <laughs> That's all he is to the me. The town? Like, I just. But you know what? I agree with him being like, Argo. yeah, that was the most fun I had playing like, the character. It's because I think he was depressed the last few times he played the character. So I'm like, yeah, probably. It would be the most fun. Going through some stuff. Uh, uh, I had more fun playing Mummy Cop in season two because season one, I was going through a very bad breakup. Uh, so season two was a lot more oh fun. God. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Drama. I love being on this show now. <laughs> So yeah, big, exciting action chase. The visual effects could have been a little better. Like, it was taking me a bit. I was like, all right, I kind of want to like this, but it's just, yeah. visually it wasn't doing it for me. Yeah. Um, so then we see, like, the day in the life of Barry. He's working at the uh, the the friend the um, forensic science. the forensics yes. yeah, for the, for the uh, and he's there with uh, uh, the Patty Spivet, who I only really know from the TV show, which uh, the, everyone nicknamed her Big Booty Patty Spivet. 
What? what? Really? You didn't see that on Reddit? Yeah, yeah. From the TV show one? I don't know if, uh, you know. Oh, the guys, TV the show. The TV show. Yeah, one. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I follow her on Instagram. Everyone show. wanted them to get together, and then he meets Iris, and it's a whole thing. But yeah, no, I, I followed the TV yeah. show one on Instagram. Uh, I don't know why. I just think whenever I hear Patty Spivet. But now there's a new Patty Spivet. I don't look, you like, I'm not looking at that. Wait, wait, you said the guy. The dude who worked with them, who is that? Yes. So the like the Patty Spivet and the other guy. Yeah, who's so the other guy? Saying that he is supposed to be Doctor Alchemy. Okay. Uh, through the you know the rest of the universe or whatever it is. So, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I, not... There's there's a lot of fun tidbits through the film that you know yeah. we feel like we both caught through the whole thing. Yeah, was, I uh, caught I caught a few things. Um, kind of cool and interesting. So yeah, uh, he's still trying to get his dad out of jail, who this time is played by the dude from Office Space. It's not Billy Crudup anymore. Not Apparently, Billy, that was yeah. a scheduling conflict. Oh, really? Yeah. But then again, <laughs> the movie took so long to get out. They probably could have had him in at some point. <laughs> <Absolutely right. laughs> but he oh. wasn't bad in it. Like no, he, was he, was actually, good. he was actually he was good, really right? good. He was I really, really good. enjoyed him. Yeah, he was great. Um, so yeah, he's like ready to get his dad like out of jail. So sad. Bruce First Wayne he, sends yeah. him the footage of the day. Yeah. He was in the store getting the tomatoes when his mom died, but he never looks up, so you can't confirm Is there no him. other cameras ah. except that one camera right there? Just that one. Yes. There, in 2004. That. That's what only... I was like. You don't see him coming into the store? Maybe the rest of the cameras were damaged. That's the only camera, right? I mean, that was the only camera. Why didn't the tomatoes, cops? Tomatoes. They're very, right the tomatoes very are. like cautious and protective of their tomatoes. <laughs> why didn't the cops just ask the people working there, did you see this guy? Did you see his man? Was he like this the whole time <laughs> buying the tomatoes? Exactly. <laughs> like 20 years to figure that out? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, First meet Iris there, too, right? Outside yes. Of the, yes, the... Iris. Um, I which I thought we were going to get more of her. She you got really cut don't. out of Same. She got cut out of Justice League's theatrical cut, and then she only really yeah. has the one scene in the, in in the, the Snyder, Snyder cut. But, yeah, we find out that they, like, went to school together. Yes. She brings that up, though, as yeah. well, right? It's yes, yeah. she does. She's like, hey, didn't I see you, like, a while yes. back or something? She's like, I feel yeah. like I saw you. And he's yeah. like, no. It's like, it hasn't like, been since we were in school together. Running yeah. through your car as uh, I was flipping through an <laughs> you were, intersection. You when you were applying that. to be, like, a, a pet store uh, employee or something. <laughs> Um, and then right? a song she was played. Her car that that flipped through an intersection yeah. or something, yeah. right? And he saved her. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then the uh, that that song played. The song to the siren played for five minutes. Do you not remember that, Barry? He's like, no, I don't remember running around for five minutes while an entire song played. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, she's like trying to like reconnect with him because uh, I guess she likes him. She feels kind of bad for him, she and does. she's also a reporter, so he doesn't know if she wants info or not. Yeah, it, she does play it off like she does want info, though. Yeah. She mm. really does play it off like she doesn't care. She's yeah. like, well, also the people would like to know. I feel like that's why you can't really read their chemistry on how they'll be. Like, say that they keep these two cast, you know, yeah, like, yeah, through, and they end up being together and this and that. I feel like you can't really feel how their chemistry would be because you can't really feel what her real motive is. Mm. Yeah, would, until the very end, I yes. guess. Yeah, I 110 percent agree. You know, you kind of need better, like you know, a date scene or something. Yeah, I don't know. But or, I didn't love or, the chemistry with them. Together. No, you could. They could have played with it a little bit more yeah, yeah. in the beginning instead mm -hmm. of just like she didn't seem like she felt that bad afterwards yeah. like for yeah. hurting his feelings yeah. yeah so it was like um, felt very superficial to end up together and her first motive is to figure out what's up with the dad i don't know i think exactly. that's just i think Go it's on. a two for one deal i want to help yeah, yeah. my friend and also i want to get some information yeah, yeah. clearly uh, a great, she's a great friend yeah great friend i haven't seen you in how many years great friend <laughs> How's your dad? Um, yeah. <laughs> what you're going? Uh, Flash goes for like a run and then he accidentally runs back in time to like the previous day. Um, so when we do talk about the CGI and everything, I don't mind the CGI in the Chrono The what is it? Chrono Dome. Chrono Dome. I kept calling it the amphitheater. I did. I did. No. It's like an amphitheater. Yeah, that is. I did it. Sure. How is Sam? Yeah, Jesus I didn't Christ. mind like the kind of doll like statue like CGI in that in that. Yeah, that I was fine with. I know some people because there are people who are like kind of manipulating the stuff yep. on Twitter. They're like, oh, look at this. This is what the movie wants you to believe is real. It's like, no, that's kind of it. And the director has come out and said yes. some of the CGI is supposed to look distorted. Yes. And I think he's referring to this scene. And it makes sense here. To the babies the and a lot of the other stuff, that's mm. just that's just rough CGI. Yeah, but yeah. here I, I didn't mind it. 
threw me off yeah. at first. When you go back to it, I got used to it, but the very first time I saw it, I yeah. felt very like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Yeah. yeah. First time you see it, I mean, all I could think of was you have this footage. Like you have Henry Cavill swinging and you know, yeah. like when you see the big Henry Cavill in there, it's like, why does it look so weird? And then- yeah. yeah. And then he came, the director came out, like you said, and said, you know, hey, the Corona Bowl is supposed to be from his vision, so it's meant yeah. to be like I'm that. I'm sorry, but if a director has to come out and fucking explain <laughs> it. it yeah. But yeah. honestly, I think he's he only referring to, to that stuff, but people yeah. think he's referring to all the CGI the across the movie. Well. It's like, no, nah, yeah. some of it's just rough CGI. Yeah. Um, again, this, they took a while to make this movie. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, I think he has a conversation with Bruce afterwards, and I spot it, the restaurant across the street said Grayson's. Yeah. I missed it. Like so did I. Dick Grayson. And I'm big Dick Who's Grayson. that? Robin. What? What? Remember when? Remember Do you know when who Robin I... is? No. <laughs> oh, is he in this movie? Oh, yet? Frank, you haven't. Seen, you did don't he make it in this movie yet? Frank, I don't know if you know this. You dress like Robin. I did. Yes, and it might have made a lot of our male audience question oh, their sexuality yeah. according to the comment section. The Where's the mask at? I'll throw it back on right now. <laughs> There were Everyone's like, like wait, yeah, no, you yeah, Crystal, Crystal has a, a website, but where's Frank? Yeah, you don't understand. Right, I wasn't yeah, prepared yeah. for that. There was something like, it man, was Frank's lot. looking really good. I'm like, what the fuck is but happening? But there's a lot of them. Like, <laughs> it wasn't happening? just one. It was a lot. And then, I and then, know. you know, Frank had his moment. Of course, Crystal had to ruin it in the next one with her Catwoman costume. The, yep, yep, Catwoman costume and let's came not out, even get... and then there goes all the fans. They were yeah, like, and by the by the way, by the way, let I have to call my audience out for fat shaming. I was also in a costume, and no one said. I look good. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you looked good. You look great, Tony. You look. You're, 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 you saw in the live chat. I I threw a comment in there like, "Woo, Tony!" Thank you. You yeah, looked great in your. Well, was it? It was your onesie, right? Yes. Yes. You looked super comfortable. Onesies with sweatpants because those onesies are a little too tight these days. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, he tells Bruce like, "I can go back in time," yeah. and they mentioned because it's not in the theatrical cut, the Snyder cut, where he goes back in time for like a second. Yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, because uh, before before James Gunn and whatever took over, the idea was that like the Joss Whedon cut would be canon. Yeah, that's what they said. Uh, but no, this movie's like, nah, fuck that cut. We're doing the other one. Like, no, he did go back in time. What you call it? That, that yeah. whole the time traveling scene won like. Was yeah, it like yeah, a, a yeah. special Oscar the, made or something? MTV Movie Awards or something? Was it that? MTV or? Movie Awards? That's something still a thing. There was like a fan favorite. It was favorite. called like oh, fan favorite or something. Scene. And I think that won. Uh, so it would be dumb if they I remember awarded. that award yeah. from back when I was younger. I didn't realize that's still, <laughs> still a thing. So no, no, no. no there I was, watched it this year and there's no like, they don't do the audience anymore. It's literally just no. like, you know, people just present. MTV and then just they stop. Say, Thanks. Yeah. MTV just it. stop it. So just, listen, listen. Uh, I think it was the Oscars did this whole like fan, like, maybe fan it, was, it was the Oscars. I think it was like, it, it was, was this new Oscars. award, and I think Snyder Cut won yep. for the time travel. Because thing. it was a big thing, because everyone was like, oh, Zack Snyder's Justice League won an Oscar yeah. and this and that. Gotcha. So it wasn't that's like a, that's MTV, wasn't Nickelodeon right Awards. So would they not? They're going to get slimed. Better than that. Yeah. So, I cool. love Academy Award winning film Suicide Squad yes. <laughs> for makeup. <laughs> anyway. DC, you baby. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I do like that Bruce tries to warn. So the whole lesson we learn in this film is the one from Star Trek V. Uh, now, Star Trek V <laughs> has a very good lesson. Uh, it teaches you a very important thing, uh, but people kind of lose that because Star Trek V is awful. Um, but it has a good, so I don't know if you, I, Frank, I know for a fact you once went into a video store and asked to rent Star Trek V. Years ago. Yes. But if you actually watch it, the whole point of that is that Spock's brother mm -hmm. uh, is like, I could take away people's pain and sadness and whatnot. Uh, I could take away the memory of this, 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 this. But then Kirk has a whole thing. It's like, no, like, our sadness and like the the tragedy that we go through is part of what makes us. Yeah. Like and Kirk's like, no, I want my pain. This mm. is part of who I am. So that's the lesson. So you're, calling, honest, you're calling though. plagiarism. No, I'm not calling plagiarism. <laughs> just, no, I'm glad it was done a little bit better than because Star Trek Five has like a really good like five minute scene that explores yeah. that, and then the rest of the movie has worse effects than this movie because <laughs> they right. were unfinished effects. <laughs> if you guys could get your pain taken away, though, would you? No. Like emotional pain? Yeah. No. Uh, I'd have to pick and choose. 
pick and choose. I'll just switch. Fuck it, though. take it away. Take it. <laughs> Fuck it, take it. Let's go. I don't care. Sure, it made me who I am, but you know. Yeah, yeah I don't think uh, I have to pick. So that's that's the struggle so. Barry has it. in I'm this good. movie. Like B- Batman's both Batmans basically yeah. tell him like it's kind of like who we are. Like we kind of need it's this. You shouldn't bullshit. like mess with no, this. No, yeah. no, take it. Uh, but then he goes on a date with uh, Iris, and I do like so. This also, and the movie corrects it afterwards. I was a little taken back. I'm like, we're seeing like a lot of display of powers that we didn't get to experience him learning. Yes. Because he's phasing through the wall, stealing his neighbor's beer, which I thought was funny. That and then, was, like, that was when it explodes, I was like, that's awesome. That, that, was, that good. was good. And that I do like he cleans things. the apartment and then she like leans on the thing and it's just all falls. And then it falls later. <laughs> then it falls later. Yeah. Those were good yeah. moments. Wouldn't he have time to put things away if he was so fast and the right I don't point? think he even cared. I think his uh, brain was, at that point, he was, he was so nervous. Yeah. He was just so nervous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he while talking to her, he like figures out like, wait a minute. If my dad doesn't forget the tomatoes, yep. Just a he never leaves. Tiny thing. So my thing, I thought he was going to change the camera right away. That would have been the first thing. Huh. No. First thing. That way, you don't have to go and fuck Spoiler. up time. No, before. because that wouldn't. Yeah. That wouldn't. No, but I honestly thought he would have. Just instead of putting the tomatoes in her car. No, because yeah, that would have just made his dad innocent. That wouldn't have saved his mom. He was more about trying yeah. to save his mom. The whole situation but you don't wanna, as a whole. But then, who was the if lady do, from Itu Mamba Tambien? Oh, she is so freaking pretty, too. Yeah. She's beautiful. Uh, but it's, the whole thing is like, okay, you don't want to fuck up. I know he wants to save his mom. But he wants to see his mom what's... again. That's the whole That's He the doesn't whole know the rules thing. of time travel. There are mom. characters they in the East. Look, look, him. look. I mean, maybe he's in this, but Rip Hunter is not there to explain to him he the problems be. of time Bruce travel. Bruce literally explained it to be. him. It could yeah, be. but Bruce, Bruce don't. But Bruce doesn't know like the ramifications. You need a time traveling like, expert to show up. Rip like, Hunter could be Nikolai Coaster Walden. <laughs> for the record, if yeah, you call him in there eating hot weird, dog. There's a lot of weird, like big actors in just like throwaway yes. extra yep. roles. Yes, it is. Notice. Dude from I do Game like of Thrones that. is eating a hot dog right there, and he yeah. could be Rip Hunter in the future, just watching, <laughs> yes. just watching the Flash. Just so yeah, he needs, up. He, yeah. so he doesn't <laughs> have a, a Rip Hunter to come in yet and go stop doing this, <laughs> <laughs> or all the other time traveling uh, characters. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he goes back and he, off. he changes yeah. the tomatoes. He, ba- he ditches Iris. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so he changes the tomatoes. Which is very, you know, emotional. He's mm-hmm. like, you know, scenes like this, like hit me really hard. Yeah. Like even towards the end of this film, like when he has that moment with his mom. Yeah. I, I teared up. Which we'll get to. I don't want to, you know, jump into it yet. But yeah. it's just like, I just, I love those. I love those moments with Barry and his mom. When mm-hmm. they, when yeah. They do so he Let's saves start. his mom. He goes to see how it turned out. He steals old people's clothes, which I thought was interesting. But like, he doesn't like he just walks into that like he doesn't know what year it is. He just decides yeah. to walk in. That that threw me off, and I was like, "Wouldn't you want to know where in time? What happens if you were younger?" Well, no, or... wait, didn't he? So he dropped the tomatoes off, and then he got pushed out. <gasps> right, right, he got right, pushed right. out. So, so he has no idea. This enemy, the Dark Flash, yeah. you see, you uh, pushes see. him yeah. into like a different. But yes. he doesn't know where he's at. So why would you just walk into the house not knowing? Because in his mind, he sees like you know home again. He sees he's his parents excited. a little bit older, and he's like, "Oh, this must be my right time." Even yeah. though he's you know too too early and in a different universe, mm. but he just like real quick throws it on. The parents don't even care because they. I mean, look at the other uh, uh, Barry that shows up. They're like, he is a little bit weird. He would wear stuff like this. So, yeah, you know, yeah. He's a little, he's <laughs> a little weird. Him, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, then he sees the the actual Barry, who's also yeah. like kind of dressed like yeah. an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> he's like dancing in the street and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and he's like real quick it's just I love that whole moment that he's sitting there and he's like hey how have you guys been you know how's your day how was the past 18 years <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. he's like being very awkward <laughs> uh, but I like that he takes the young Barry into his room yeah. and they really want you to know it's 2013 so there's yeah. a Pacific Rim poster up there <laughs> it's like the most 2013 yes. thing ever yeah, that's cool. <laughs> all Warner Brothers properties okay that's how we know. That's how we know. That's how we know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he, I do like the whole thing with the teddy bear. We're like, in Barry's timeline, the teddy bear is like the most important thing. I do yeah. really like but that. But in, yeah. or no, the monkey. It was a monkey. It was the a monkey. monkey because, yeah, yeah monkey. the mom calls him But monkey. in this timeline, you know, he kind of grew out of it. His mom's there. He doesn't really have as like, much yeah, of it. like, yeah, my mom, tag. you know, gave us monkey stuff all the time. She always yeah. calls us monkey. Yeah. It's like not a big deal. I really like this relationship. Um, yeah. I think... You know, the, the younger Barry is a little bit, you know, he over can the top. be grating at times, and I think that's supposed to be the point I and do they too. call it out. But I, I, I get, get like it, after a while, it's very like, childlike. Yeah. It's like not well, so much like he had an easy ride through life. It's more like, you know, like I don't know, he just never 
grew up, I guess. Yeah. Or, I guess he didn't, he didn't have to. to. He didn't have to. Yeah. He, was, he was forced to grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you see him in the very first time we ever see him, he's pretty immature and really obnoxious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how do you now compare that obnoxiousness when you very first see him? Yeah. You have to take it to another level yeah. because yeah. he's always been taken care of by his, his parents. His mom still does his laundry. Exactly. And, he's take, yeah. and, and does the dorm room yeah. and everything like that. So, yeah. yeah, he's been coddled his entire life. Yeah. So, how is he supposed sure. to learn? He's a freshman in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're yeah. And he's coddled. So, yeah, of course he's a Even like do the fuck. thing again with the couch cushions and he's like, yeah, and then <laughs> yeah he and makes then like a fork. And he's like an Barry's early like, child. We need yeah. to, you know, like I got, I got stuff to do, man. I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. Um, but date. yeah, so I actually, because uh, I was complaining about him, like, oh, he's showing all these powers that we didn't really get to see him grow and learn. I mean, we have with the TV show, but that's a different flash. Uh, so I'm just like, all right, this take me out of it. But then I love this whole like a lot of this movie, I love how they kind of redo the origin story yeah. in like a yes. unique way where it's like, oh, he's going back and he's making his origin story happen. And yeah. that's how we're, I'm like, all right, that's actually really creative Pretty and cool. Smart. I yeah. really enjoyed that. I think as this movie goes along, it gets better. Yeah. It definitely gets better yeah, as the, it goes along. The, once he's back in time, uh, I start to really, really like it. Same. And the stuff with the two Same. Barrys, they like, it was crazy how they did it. And I'll explain a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but it's near seamless. And I know like uh, body double stuff is really easy to do. However, there are a few moments where clearly there was a reshoot where oh, one yeah. will look way smoother than yeah. the other. Yeah. Like their face would look like a way too digitally airbrushed. Yeah. But for the most part, it's just like, they're like both. And it's it's That's Ezra, good. it's them I, there. Um, and I'll say the acting, Ezra Miller's like acting is actually, I was impressed. I yeah. was actually very, yeah. very impressed because acting with yourself, I couldn't even imagine how difficult mm. that is. It's not I how did. I would picture Barry Allen, but it's working. So you start to see like later in the film, once he really has to get serious about yeah what's going on yeah. and try to wake you know like once they meet Batman and all that and he has to like, yeah. you know wake up the younger Barry to be like dude like this is freaking serious yeah. Yeah. seriously I feel like you really start to see the leadership in Barry yes. and yeah. who you you know really who would you envision Barry Allen would be yes. so I think that they crushed it all together mm-hmm. like yeah. really showing you know Barry Allen and who he is and just you know diving right on into it I mean I just I love it I, the, the second act right there where, you, you know, you really see who yeah. Barry Allen, like, yeah. is nowadays and how he takes, you know, charge of, like, everything in his life now mm. and has to wake up the younger Barry. Well, he's also been part of a team great. and he's got, like, older yeah. people mentoring but him, so he's learning. You still notice yeah. the flat, like, he's still a little immature, how he's just sitting there complaining in the beginning about how he always has to clean it up and this and that. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, you do see yeah. him seriously take charge, yeah. which yeah. is... You, it's night and day, and he mm. kind of need that yeah. wake up. And right. it's almost like how we've said in the other Batman movies, where we see like a younger Bruce Wayne who's still a little immature and yeah. doesn't have his shit together. This is the way I'm seeing Flash, yeah. where it's still beginning in his career. He's not mm. there yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I like that he has mm-hmm. to like uh, manipulate because uh, he. What was it? He can't get back, or so he. There's takes, a reason. What was he, the reason he had to give young Barry his powers? So it's it, that day, and he's like, "Oh, like you know, today's the day that you that you get your powers, and if you don't yes. get your powers, I don't get my powers." So oh, yes. right, because he's go going on. He thinks yeah, yeah. he's in like a he, new time, yeah. a new timeline, but part of his. The, yes, yeah. yes, he doesn't he know how time works. Yet. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He, yes, it hasn't been explained yet, and I'm a little confused how the person who explains him knows all of it. But anyway, yeah. So he's like, "You need to get your powers. You need to get your powers." Takes him to the to the station where you know because we never got to see that. We never got to see that. That wasn't on Lex Luthor's stupid (laughs) uh, folder where he had all the where he made the logos for everyone. You would think that's the video that Lex would have is him getting yeah lightning. Yeah, he should tell him. Yeah, (laughs) it said he had uh, cyborg being made. (laughs) <laughs> and all that oh, stuff yeah, and Aquaman like he made logos through. for everyone <laughs> can you believe Lex Luthor made logos yeah. for everyone oh, Barry should have told him like oh by the way um, you get your logo from Lex Luthor he's spying on you you can't call yourself the Flash until Lex let you know that you're the Flash yes you have to Lex <laughs> Luthor needs to make you a <laughs> logo and Batman needs to find it so you can't call yourself the Flash or use the lightning bolt until you Lex have... Luthor lets you you'll know. know it's coming when Batman starts fighting Superman Okay, okay. okay. Yes. Batman's gonna yeah. fight Superman? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I can't tell you. I don't want to mess up the universe. <laughs> um, I got you. Now I'm curious if that was to happen in that universe, how that would have worked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Whoa. things get screwed up because the lightning hits Prime Barry and goes yeah. into Young Barry. So Prime Barry gets his powers removed. Yeah. Young yes. Barry gets all Very the powers. Very anxious in this moment where okay. it's like, sit down, sit down. You don't so, know what's gonna happen. Yeah. One thing that has always annoyed me about this Flash is his weird run where he's like, it's weird. 
I didn't like it. However, I now love it because it led up to this joke where he gets the he does it the was pose, so funny. and then he's just when he's he sees doing a bird. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It took like four years for that to pay off, but now I love it. Now I love yes. it. His, his sneakers are like are like making sounds, and he's like, oh god, oh god, I'm not running. That was really funny. I do like that the batteries have to like pick each other up to phase through the hole. Yeah, I thought that was great. Um, so yeah, now young Barry has all the powers, and he's yeah. trying to speed run learning all the powers whereas oh, old Barry geez. like learned them progressively yeah. uh, I feel like he faces through the floor into his neighbor's okay. house and comes out that what do we good. think of the giant scene with the, the music truck and the lightning and, or I enjoyed the, it that was fun I was like this is it was fun but I was like Jesus fucking Christ I did like that like, they did like the whole like the, the clothes burning yeah. 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 Like, the street. Yeah. Yeah. but like it just it happens to be a yeah. it was a lot it was, it was fun lot. but it was a lot I did like the clothes burning because that was something they did early yeah, in the TV yeah. show and then yeah, they yeah. stopped what, did everyone's T did it he just, just figure out how to not to burn their didn't shirts? Didn't matter. And Cisco started making him regular, you know, or like you know, advanced shirts. But everyone else. else, he was moving around. How do they? Uh, I guess uh, he just learned how not to. You do know, the... sometimes you just gotta, you know, let your mind just go. And Look, it was moment. really nice when Emily Bet Ricards her shirt blew up, and then she had like her uh, just bra out. That was a fun episode. She's uh, fantastic. They how were does just... her bra not burn up? Yeah. Uh, because don't worry, because it was on the CW, so they couldn't they TV. couldn't go full tits out on the CW. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't still. in the contract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were all just in Philly a couple weeks ago, and I missed nice. it. Ah, yeah, darn. I know. Um, so yeah, I did like seeing some of that stuff where he's just like all the clothes are burning off. Yeah, he's like funny. causing. I look, there's like this big explosion, and he comes back. He's like nothing happened. Yeah, just the camera in front of him. And they were like, fine. dude, like he they showed full body him uh, making yeah. his, his ass out, like you know, yeah. and then he comes back with what like a pot or something yeah like it, was, uh, it, was a it was a tamarind yeah, it was a tamarind the first time and then goes through the floor comes back with a pot yeah. so all that all that stuff is fun like, yeah. but now. then he realizes yeah. what day it is because zod shows up but it happened too early no i think that's what he says doesn't he was like, it it's too not, early? he says the words it's not supposed to happen yet why is this happening so it's oh, like okay. he freaks out because he's walking the streets. He's like, why well, is this happening? Like, well, it is 2013. But he does say that, you know, um, I just recently got my powers in my universe or in, in this timeline. And, you know, and that day I was only a few days off of getting my powers and I had to save that kid and his dad. But he was already working right. on his costume at that point. This is like basically the next day. So he like wasn't working on his costume. Okay. Yeah. But he also said, what's today? Isn't it September 29th? And isn't yeah. that the, or is that when he gets he, struck by lightning? When September the lightning, 29th. the when lightning is when yeah. he asked that. And that, cause he says it in the movie. Yes. This, why is this? And that's when you start okay. real. I think that's the point. And they that made it very off. specific yeah, that yeah. something is not right yeah. because Zod's not supposed to be attacking at that moment. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so now he's like on the hunt for Superman, but he can't find him. Because at this point, Superman's not out yet. Yeah. Yeah. So he would still be Clark, but he can't find which Clark Kent it is. Yeah. But then he starts noticing, and this is cool. Uh, but by the way, he takes him back to the apartment where Barry has roommates, which is now Patty Spivet and Dr. Alchemy, but like they're like stoners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, which makes sense for this Barry, I And guess. then mm -hmm. Gary... Yeah. Uh, so we forgot, like, he was trying to teach him how to use the suit, and he starts referencing Back to the Future. He's like, yeah, Eric Stoltz. This he's like, was right. so what? funny. <laughs> and he's just like, what are you talking about? But then everyone there is like, yeah, Eric Stoltz, Back to the Future. And like, the, the fucking the, tattoo! The Gary Marty guy has a McKay. tattoo of Eric Stoltz. <laughs> There was people in our theater that were like, who? Eric Stoltz. Like, oh, <laughs> Actually, man, on this God. show, uh, Tim, when we did Holes, the topic of Eric Stoltz Such came up, and he was like, wait, there was another... Marty McFly, uh, like, yeah, they shot yeah. a bunch of a the movie with it. him and then <laughs> replaced him. Um, so I looked up the the Gary guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a guy Man named on the couch. Yes, because we know who the other characters are. I tried to, I didn't find a DC character called Gary or not one or that didn't really stick be, out. Because everyone else is supposed to be somebody. Everyone yeah. else is supposed to be someone. So he is like um, really good friends with Ezra Miller. Huh. I think he did like the, he was like the acting double. For nice. bat for the younger Barry, uh, he got like a special thanks during the premiere. Ezra was like thanking him and whatnot. And with my other Barrys who are here tonight, a couple of them are here: Sean Rogers and Ed Wade. He could just be a guy named Gary. Yeah, because there was yeah. a couple of them, right? That as that uh, Ezra brought up, that, like yeah, he brought up that, like a like bunch a, of people. A lot of people That's that cool. helped him work. But I actually character really like that. With each other, yeah. Yeah. But it'd be cool if he was like another character, like a uh, like He's a. 
like a Booster Gold or a Rip Hunter. Booster Gold would make more sense because the blonde hair. And it's and kind of a time kind of traveling be... film, and you know, to have yeah. you know, just a guy on a couch, he's got to be. Somebody, and like, like, right? like, 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 that's like in your head. You're like, well, that's not who I would pick to be Booster Gold, but like, I wouldn't have picked Ezra Miller to be the Flash, so yes. that Booster Gold could probably match the Flash. Oh man, if he is that, he also could be Rip Hunter or any of the he Time could have Masters. Just took a break and just chilling on his guy's couch, or he could just be a guy know? named Gary. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, it's just his friend Gary. It's just it, it was weird that like the other other two were comic characters then there's a third guy who's not so that's why i'm just jumping in conclusions yeah, no, no, no. there it totally it's makes probably sense. just a guy no. named gary no it'd be a... so much cooler if he's like booster Gold i mean no he's totally like he's definitely a character <laughs> well i don't know if you know this but um when i was in the dark knight rises i was in the dark knight rises wait you were in the dark knight rises i was in the dark knight rises oh my yeah. god i actually Tony's wore like or something were you the guy with the mask and you couldn't like you couldn't see i was not face? bane i was no? in a scene with bane oh, wow. i actually i have to tell i found the picture of like when i left that day the outfit that i picked out and i wore green pants a red shirt and a yellow jacket because i'm like i'm this universe's robin and then i saw yes. the movie i'm like ah shit there's a robin in the in the movie <laughs> And then I was like, you know what? I'm because of this movie. I'm now the time traveling Robin. I'm the Robin whose parents were clearly not athletic acrobats, you're and the, nor was I. You're the Robin that uh, owns you're Grayson's like the Gary the bar. Of Robin. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the couch. He's hanging That's out on Bruce is. Wayne's couch. And Bruce Wayne He's is a bad man. Robin. Taking Robin. Or do you like do you like do trapeze stuff? Like a fat ass kicking up there. Yeah. And then people were like, I saw another universe where there was a Robin talking about a movie and everyone was too horny for him in the comments. Who's that? Who's that? Robin from Earth. He's the porn star Robin. You're the Gary Robin. Why is he going to be a porn star? I'm an actor, all right? I don't do those kind of movies. I really didn't expect Oh, no. My goal was that they would do a close up, and I didn't know Joseph Gordon Levitt was going to be a weird Robin amalgam. And I was like, I was going to be like, one day when I have kids, I'm going to be like, that was me, Robin. But then they're gonna be like, but there's already Robin the movie. I'm like, I'm the other Robin. The other, I'm the Tim Drake. I'm Robin. Tim. I'm Jason Todd. <laughs> I'm just an asshole. Oh, so anyway, uh, he learns that all the heroes don't exist. Don't exist. The, yeah. the calling of Aquaman's dad was hilarious. I, that, I was hilarious. Yeah. that was so that was funny. funny. That was and he's funny. like, is your wife <laughs> the queen of Atlantis? It's just like, blah. It's like mm, no. no. Um, and then Vic. <laughs> only gets one mention. Yeah. Because I think he was supposed to be a bigger part, but there was obviously a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even show uh, his face. Didn't even show his no. face, but they mentioned he's like a football, football guy. Star. He's never in yes. the accident. So there's yeah. no... Barry thinks there's no superheroes, but then he name drops Batman. And they're like, oh, no, Batman's uh, a thing. Batman. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, what did you Batman. just say? <laughs> like, yeah, we know Batman. Batman. They're like, Batman, yeah, that's that guy. He's we like, know him. Right, thank God. The smartest one is still here. Yes. Let's go. So they go to Gotham City. They take a Central City cab all the way to Gotham City. Now, is this like in Batman v Superman where Gotham and Metropolis are right across the river from That's each other? Yes. <laughs> Central yes. City is just on the other Which side. Which I hate it. I hated that. Yes. <laughs> Central City is supposed to be more, in the comics, it's more West Coast, right? Yeah. Like, it's more like a, of a West Coast city. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. But I know, like, I mean, a lot of these cities don't have yeah. state. Well, I mean, I think there were early Batman comics that said yeah. it was Jersey, but I, don't I just know. I just saw James Gunn yeah. on um, uh, the Inside of You podcast. I don't know if I can drop other podcasts on here. Uh, How dare you? Yeah, no, uh, I watch clips from that show. Yeah, yeah. Michael Rose Moms. Me and him are the same. Did you know that? What? You're the same? So Michael Rose, um, uh, Rosenbaum. Yeah. He when uh, everyone was like allowed to, when everyone was allowed to get a blue check mark, he did this like real passive aggressive tweet. He's like, "Oh, anyone can have a blue check mark now." <laughs> I just saw a guy with no followers verified. He's like, "Whatever, I don't really care." So I respond, "I'm like, hey man, I was trying to get a blue check mark, but there must be a glitch. But I was also in a DC movie, and I also have a podcast. So I was like, hey, me and Michael Rosenbaum, I'm like me and you like, are I said me and you are basically guys. the same person." <laughs> But then they took the blue check marks away, so now I'm verified and he isn't. So I was like, I'm no longer twinning <laughs> oh, with Michael no. Rosenbaum. Well, my basis of the story was, you know, I mean, no. I think he's great, but no. he had James Gunn on there, and James Gunn was like, you know, uh, part of the conversation was that he was excited to, you know, create this kind of uh, completely different universe. How Marvel has, you know, New York City and, yeah. all, and you know, whatever, this and that. Uh, you know, that he's excited to actually have a full map of where Gotham would be, mm. Metropolis would be, Central City. So yeah. just saying it's instead of just having, you know, Gotham across the river from yeah. Metropolis, it's, you know, it'll be nice to 
feel like I want to be able to feel how far all of these cities are from each other. Like yeah. world, world build for me. Yeah. So, so, but yeah, I don't know why I got into that. But yeah, that's all right. Just, just no, I'm actually excited are, to see what it does. Feeling that you want know. in a universe. It's good it's, to know. Or you know? that's any universe. Like yeah. that same thing with Game of Thrones. Like a lot of times, like I exactly. remember always wanting to look at the map and yeah. be like, okay, where is? So he the, said that it would be thing. more of like a Westeros feel to where he's like creating yes. a more of a mythical land more mm. than just oh the Avengers are in New York and dropping them into our world. It's more like. Look at this kind of you know made up mythical you know world that that I'm creating. So yes. it'll be kind of cool to move forward and dive into it. So I they like go. That. So they go to uh, Wayne Manor. Yeah, they do. And at no point does Barry go like, "This isn't Wayne Manor. This doesn't look like." Wait. Also, the Bruce Wayne I know hangs out in a little cabana house next to Wayne Manor. He doesn't <laughs> yeah. even live in his mansion. He's on the lake. So they yeah. go in there, uh, and it looks very very different. And again, yeah. Barry is not like, why Why is there this really long table in this room? He's yeah. like, I've been to Wayne Manor. What is this? Uh, and ever they ever see the kitchen in 89 or, or Returns? Yes. We do. Is it the same kitchen? It's the same I forget. one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Bruce Wayne comes out, but it's the Michael Keaton Bruce can we, Wayne. Can we go back Woo. to the paintings? He now paints. He paints. <laughs> he paints. His paintings are great. Um, so here we go. <laughs> What's it's the so movie? Uh, the Rock, Sean Connery, when he's like got the long hair. Oh, and yeah. And that, okay. Okay. Kind of like remind me. So of fans <laughs> of the show have known that I was not excited to see an elderly Michael Keaton in this movie. I will say when it comes to the characterization, I think they did a good job. Absolutely. I think because like he's not. Batman he's anymore. not he's Agreed. not Batman anymore he doesn't want to be Batman, which I yeah. know that's also a trope of the elderly guy not wanting to return to their glory like Luke Skywalker thing but I was more fine with it here I'm like okay he's not really Batman he's not trying to be Batman he and like he comes back to be Batman for a very specific purpose yes yeah. uh my only issue is he's doing too many ninja moves and I couldn't every time he started doing ninja <laughs> moves and the stunt work was great the action was great but I'm like that is I'm like, young Michael Keaton Agreed. couldn't do Arkham like, moves. And I'm like, it just took me out of it every... Even wait, this, like even in the beginning? When even he's the like, first scene where he's yeah. fighting them in the around. kitchen. I'm I think like, it's oh. just more like an automatic, it's in him no matter Agreed. what. That's the way I took it. And I it. didn't take it as like over the top. I took I it as like either. how an old man would fight. Yeah. Because he's also like hanging from the chandelier in the middle, swinging around. He's using like weapons for him. Like he's not like, yes. you know, I like he's using yes. like spoons and stuff as if they were exactly. batarangs. Yeah. Like, but fun. like, it's more like, you know, I don't know. I felt it's like, like it, yes, he is a little too old to be doing that stuff. But if it was an old man fighting, that's how a retired would, ninja. Yeah. What would yeah. you think yeah. they would exactly. do? I just, would just think, I just think, just it, go away. It's it's because we know brawler, he would be more like finesse and trying to figure exactly. out how to take them. But we like, we've seen young, we've seen young Michael Keaton Batman couldn't do half of these fucking moves. So Listen. that took me out of it. But no, I liked I liked the whole now there is a reason he's no longer Batman, but it's not in the movie. Um I don't know what it is. The director well, he, said it was they cut out like I know he says well, Gotham City's uh, this, very safe. Yes, the safest city. Yeah. Yes, but apparently there was like a thing that happened that made him stop being Batman, but we won't maybe they'll release it on DVD or Blu-ray. Yeah. I'm not sure. Got too old. Um, well, obviously. Well, yeah, no, me, me and uh, the fight. Discord, yeah. the Hack Movies Discord, which I rarely talk about, which you can join for five dollars a month on patreon you what, get discord Tony? access and commentary track access um we went in there like hey guys what do you think is the reason that he stopped being batman and then we just looked up uh things that men in their 70s have to deal with <laughs> and like it was like <laughs> prostate stuff oh like, yeah you know i probably yeah. had this i had the theory uh... that like he didn't realize the batmobile was in drive when he went to pull out and drove through a store <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he had a pee a lot in the suit. So he, had he, had a in the suit. he had a pee a lot in the suit. <laughs> uh, uh, tennis I, elbow, you know, <laughs> from punching all the time. <laughs> I love, you know, putting Michael Keaton, in, Michael, wow, Michael Ooh. Keaton in, in in this role. Right? Yeah, love it. I think it's great, but I'm a huge Flashpoint guy. Yeah, and if you put Jeffrey Dean Morgan in there. As Thomas Wayne instead of Michael Keaton, I would have. I think I would have been way more excited. For yeah, this here's movie. the problem with that. I understand what you're saying. It just would have been. You it, there's a setup there. Here's the problem with that. Knock it down. One, uh, if you ask, because again, I know you love the DCEU, I, I, and I know people on the internet. Love I the, love the characters. I, I love that I it's love, happening. I love that the people on the internet say they love the Snyderverse and everything, and then they never go to the theater to watch the no, movies. They don't. Um, <laughs> so a general audience, if you said, hey. Jeffrey D. Morgan, who was Batman's dad and Batman v Superman, most people are gonna be like, "Oh, that movie sucked." 
They're like, they're not going to be like, do you want to see him as an alternate universe Batman? Or do you want to see Michael Keaton Michael come back? Keaton. Joe Schmo on the street is going to be like, I, I want get Michael it. Keaton back. Yeah. That's I get I'm it. Joe Schmo on the street. But if you say Thomas Wayne, yeah. the rest of the world will know, oh, Thomas Here's Wayne. Here's my problem, though. Like, the, in Flashpoint, it's awesome that there's this alternate Batman who's a super big murderer with guns. But in the Snyderverse, Batman is already a super big murderer with guns. Yeah. So there's there's yeah. no contract. Yes. So it's just like, yes. what is he going to do? Like, oh, in this universe, my He's dad is more of a murderer. Like, yes. oh, cool. Like, yes. well, that's awesome, dude. But you're also a murderer. Bring and Lauren. also Superman's a murderer. And what's her name? Lauren Cohen. Bring her in to be the Joker. Oh, yeah. God, be awesome. I get what you're saying, but I awesome. understand why they changed it. Awesome. But like you have so, he was able to play with so much of the old school. He was. Was yeah. Michael Keaton? I Although we did, it. I get Which, it. By the way, Everything. I love that we joked about it in our uh, Batman Eighty Nine review. We were like, "This is the the cave and the mansion are clearly the Eighty Nine design." So yeah. I don't know what happened. Returns that must have just been another mansion with a different. <laughs> cave. Apparently, yeah. He must have two mansions. Returns never happened. Yeah. It's a parallel universe. No, Returns, Returns did happen yeah. because they have his suit from Returns yeah, there. Right. Yeah. Um, oh my God, you see all the suits. Oh, yeah. it was just like, yeah. it was, and, it was the, cool. and it was like actually the Batmobile. Uh, you're like, oh. And I actually read today, uh, like Andy Muschietti was just like, why didn't it look like Tim Burton's, why didn't we go to Tim Burton's Gotham and stuff? He's like, they have a very specific visual style yeah. that would have yeah, clashed yeah, mine. Yeah. It's also like, we would have had to get a bunch of people in hats. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's just like, we just never go to Gotham. So he just yeah. said, you know, oh, I cleaned up Gotham. So yeah. I made it yeah. look better. It would have been Gothic nice. Anymore. There is a scene later on where you see the Gotham skyline. And I, I know it's been 30 years and everything, but it would have been nice if some of the buildings, if the tow the church tower was there, yeah. Yeah. or some of the buildings just kind of resembled Something what we cool. saw. Instead, it just looked yeah. like a generic city. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so everything looks like 89. It's amazing. Yeah. I the, loved the, it. The library's back and everything. I love the next part where he describes the multiverse to them. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, I, we'll go to that. Sorry. So okay, I like yeah, this yeah. explanation. Sorry. I think I've I seen this in, there was a show or something that explained this. Like, you could go back, like, I know in Lost, it was like, you go back in time, but everything happened, happened. So you're always meant to go back in time. Yeah. But, but yeah. there's other stuff where, like, if you go back in time, this will branch off. And I like how he explains, like, you went back in time, but you're back in time in a different timeline. Yeah. Like, you're not in your actual timeline. Um, which is kind of cool. And I like that whole theory. And I, what was it? God, there was a show that did that. They're like, we're going back in time, but not our past, a slightly different past. Um, but yeah, I, that's a cool explanation. I like he had the spaghetti. Thank God he it. had the spaghetti. Cause I would have been confused. So but here's the, I would have been lost. Here's my question. <laughs> yeah. Why does the Michael Keaton Batman know so much about this? He's fucking <laughs> smart, okay? Yeah, he's, he's cleaned just, up. What else yeah, do you want him to do? Exactly. He's just reading the books on he time travel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he studies. He paints. He is. He is a, a an yeah. exquisite gentleman. Yeah. So I love. I love the spaghetti, right? Yeah. But he also says when he starts, he said, I don't know what movie you would find this from where, you know, he just bends it off and the pace yeah. is the same. But he goes, I don't know what movies you've been watching where it's like this, which is the Marvel Universe. Yes. I yeah. yeah. thought that was funny. And then he moves the spaghetti. So where now it's an X to where if you mess with, you know, one of these uh, points in time, mm -hmm. a flash point or a hard point in time, whatever yeah. it's called, then, you know, then you make a brand new past and a yeah. brand new future. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, I feel like was, yeah, like you're saying, is perfectly describing of, you know, of of how, and it, the easiest way of saying, you know, how the, this multiverse works. I just like the little jab yeah. at, uh, at Marvel. Marvel right yeah. now. It had to be a jab. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it could be, it also back to the future when he goes back with the almanac and whatnot. Yeah, it could sure. be that. But then he I throws like the all the spaghetti Marvel. in, right? And yeah. then he puts the sauce on top and it's like, now mess. you just have a mess. Yeah. And the Marvel Universe right now is a little bit of a mess. Also, yeah. I did like that the young Barry didn't realize it was Batman. Because <laughs> yeah. earlier he's just like, we have to go to the cousin's dinner. <laughs> Uh, and then he's just like, he's bad. And he's like, why do you think we were here? He's like, I thought this was the cousin's, cousin's dinner. dinner. Like, he's, what is the like he didn't pick up that that was a code. Yeah. What does the Parmesan mean? <laughs> I love yeah, he's like, it's yeah, not, it's, it doesn't mean anything. I think the metaphor is yeah. over. <laughs> so they go into the cave. Oh, he's so dumb. They I go into him. the back cave to get his bat shit, which guano. Speaking of guano, there is not enough guano in that cave. He hasn't been in that cave in years. And you're just telling me these bats are just magically not shitting over everything. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a mess. Uh, I is that what you were waiting for? It's just it all, just like a cave of shit. The cover yes. of the Batmobile. Have you ever seen shit. Bat Caves? Uh, They're full of guano. 
Have you not seen Ace Ventura 2 when nature oh, calls? Yes. They're yes. full of guano. Who the fuck hasn't seen Is that, that the right word, guano? Yes. I like how you're using the right word. Yes. I just like back guano. Frank, have you not seen Ace Ventura when nature calls? Not it's a major a, plot point. I had a long time. Well, I'll look, I have it, it there if you want to rent it. it <laughs> so I'm looking at everything. I'm like, there's all these bats here, and there's just no bat shit anywhere. I'm oh like, no, took me right out of you it. You walked out of the theater. I walked out of the theater. I said, I disagree, and I walked out. <laughs> and wow, like, Who was you that? keep doing that in movie theaters. <laughs> I do it all the time. Go <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, it's the cave. It's definitely the 89 cave, not the other cave. Yeah. Um, and the Batmobile's there, and I, look, I know we had a big uh, vehicle chase early on in the movie. We didn't need another vehicle chase. It was kind of weird. I'm like, you brought the Batmobile back and you didn't do any kind of chase. I, it was just like a nice little, mm. nice little. Hmm. I'm like, I wouldn't be able to resist the temptation of having that car in like an I'm actual scene. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was kind of cool. I liked how the cave looked and like Batman spying on them. And that was cool. Barry's like trying to work out with him, like to yeah. figure out, like trying to motivate him to come back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they eventually, I know like the Barry's like fight with each other uh, because the young Barry, he's not, he's afraid to tell young Barry about his mom. Yes. Yeah. Cause he doesn't want to like screw up too many things, but he's like, really like you, you, know, you said yeah. he starts to mature. He's like, this is yeah. very serious. Yeah. yeah. This is very important. What's really going on. Loved how they played it. Yeah. So, but so, yeah. yeah, but I then uh, Michael Keaton, he, Michael Keaton opens up his room full of suits, which is not in the back cave for some reason. It's in his library. Let it be. Let it be. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he opens it's that up, uh, and I like I like the suits. I talked about it in um I think I talked about it in an episode I did with Peg Warmers. We were going through like the suits yeah. and that. So you have like what's I guess supposed to be his first suit, the black and gray yeah. with like the. They said those were grapple guns, but this is a Batman who murders, so I wouldn't believe if it was just handguns. I'm like, I'd buy that. But then we see it's the kind of the 89 suit, but it blue, is. but blue and gray. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Cool. So he did go through a blue and gray phase. Cool. Then That's you have the 89 suit, which yeah. is still damaged. Yeah. With one of the return suits, because we found out he had like 15 of them mm -hmm. in the uh, Batman Returns. And then there's two new ones. There's like a like a gliding suit. And like an Arctic one. Uh, and then it's like, yeah. I guess what was his last one? I oh, Wait, the one detail I did like when they first went into Wayne Manor, you saw all the, the armor from around the world. Yeah. yeah. Like sprinkled throughout. Like, all right, that's cool. I'm so glad cool. they like brought those. They still back. Have had it, yeah. those in there. Yeah. So yeah, cool. he, he comes back and he's, so he's, he's watching them at this point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he's yeah. Watching he's them watching and, them. And it kind of motivates a little monologue. To Barry. The yeah. Barry does a little monologue right, for him to like right. motivate him. He's like, Hey, I know I he's like, that. I know you had an Alfred. I know yep. you had yeah. this. Sorry about your parents. Like... Yes. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. I was yeah. trying to, yeah. No Sorry. Like, I mean, Oh, by the way, another theory I have for why Batman is retired because the Batman in this universe kills all his enemies in a month. So he's probably <laughs> like, yeah, I just, I just murdered That's all. That's why it's murdered. Everyone's just That's dead. It. Well, so if it was Thomas fight? Wayne, Thomas Wayne would have done it. So. Yeah. Um, oh, we we did forget. So I thought there. I mean, other than the Batcave and stuff, I thought they were to throw away more Easter eggs. But we get one where he finds the laughing bag. Yeah. From the Joker. Exactly. Look at this. Yeah. There I are wanted, tons of Easter eggs. I this. really <laughs> wanted a, a line where they're like, "Yeah, the Joker, your biggest villain," and the Batman's like. I killed my parents, but I took care of him in a week. Yeah. <laughs> You've had so many countless fights with the Joker. I and he's like, yeah, no, like, it, was, it was a rough week, oh, but I got it. <laughs> what about the penguin? Let's yeah, see. I killed that guy. Uh, it's like I killed all of them. I guess they all died. Yeah, that's right. What about Catwoman? <laughs> Remains to be seen. She, uh, <laughs> she used her final two lives and she died then following she, Christmas. Yes. <laughs> I would love to answer that question, but that actress is in Ant-Man 3 right now, oh, so we can't oh, explore man. that. <laughs> <laughs> they should have had a picture up on the wall of him and Michelle Pfeiffer. Just that would have they did in the CW there. crossover. Did they really? In the CW crossover, there was a newspaper that said that they're married and whatnot. Yeah. So, Shit. yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of CW crossover, let's just backtrack. Mm -hmm. So the Barry Allen from this universe met the Barry Allen from yep. the TV show, but it was in the previous Flash suit in from Justice Flash League. Shoot. Yeah. That does not get referenced here at all. Yeah. So does he like? I'm guessing that yeah. was just maybe another Barry, just a throwaway, yeah, from a different universe, yeah. I guess. Because I this... thought it was good because people really wanted a Grant Gustin cameo in yeah. this, yeah. and there's only one weird connection. Yeah. Um, but I was just, I thought, like in my head, Cat, I'm like, oh, maybe like he just tells Bruce Wayne, he's like, I time traveled and met another Flash. 
and they would just recycle footage, but, but they then just he don't would reference know it at that all. there's no. a multiverse, which yeah. in the beginning of this, he doesn't know that there's a multiverse. He just knows that he can travel back and yeah. forth through yeah. time. So I guess we're so just... So it's just a throwaway, hey, there's another Flash, which is kind of disrespectful to not throw Grant yeah. Gustin into this then. Yeah. Which kind of, you know, it's it's kind of upsetting. You have another Flash out there that just ran almost 10 years, yeah. ran 10 years, and... and Literally. And you can't... Because he's the yeah. Flash. Ran 10 years. <laughs> And um, you can't throw Grant Gustin in there? Yeah, so that was... Even uh, in, like, like, one of the worlds uh, in the flat. Like, just a flash. Well, anything, we'll, we'll, just we'll, we'll get there is it, yeah. a small thing that's kind of awkward. I know like, I know Grant, what you're going to go with, but... but Grant but, Gustin sang my wedding song. So yeah. I just, I just, <laughs> not I really not in it. person. You no, played not in the person. Song. What? Uh, his, yeah. he's, one of his songs is what we use for our yeah. wedding song. So he... Um, you are such a Grant Gustin's a singer. He was on Glee. adorable. Greg Gustin was on Glee. Yeah, yeah. Same I with Melissa Benoist. Season, season two. I loved Glee. Season oh, he, two. he, him, and Melissa Benoist were on the show when I yeah, stopped. I got yeah. like two seasons in. I'm like, all right, I'm done. Um, season two, "Running Home to You" is the song. Yes, that was our wedding. Song. Uh, shout out, Grant Gustin. Thanks, Grant. <laughs> I love it. That's like the fourth time you shouted out Did him I? for no, that second, wedding song. Second, second time, second time. He's I'll gonna keep see doing it eventually. I'll keep doing it until you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip every time you've done that. Yes, just send it to him. So, um. So yeah, Batman is back. He's in his suit and he does the I'm Batman. Uh, oh, and he's like, all right, I'm going to help you find Superman. They find out that there was a crash yeah. and someone was taken to a base in Russia. Yes. And they're like, okay, like that's it. where Superman is. Let's go there. They get in their Batwing. So it's weird that he built a bigger Batwing after his Batwing was destroyed, but then he built his car exactly the same after yeah. it was destroyed. Yeah. Well, you know, because he doesn't want to drive around anymore. He wants to yeah. fly around. Yeah, exactly. He's old there. He's but like, why, we why noticed, red lights? Yeah, we noticed uh, when he's flying, and I actually do like the new Batwing. Yeah, I do too. It, especially toward the end battle, it does something really cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's flying. He's like, hey, your parachutes are connected to your seat. Yeah. I like when he like sc like glides down. Where's yours? Uh, but yeah, there's two extra seats in the back, and I theorize, like, I think this Batman might have a Robin and Batgirl. It's gotta be. Uh, and I know in the Batman 89 comics, they gave him a Robin and mm. they were kind of setting up uh, Barbara yeah. Gordon to be yep. his Batgirl. Yep. Uh, they don't go into any. That's just a theory. Why would he have two too seats? much to add to this film? I mean, you couldn't even, you know, really give Michael Keaton a lot of new lines. He's just regenerating. All he the old lives, he <laughs> legit does it. So yes. why, you know, yeah. even give new characters? It's yeah. like, let's. You I did that. like the moment where, like, you know, the young Flash has the suit. So he goes up there. Oh, what does he keep saying? Like, he keeps saying, like, this beefs or something. It's, I guess, their universe. The new, yeah, the slang from Yeah, it's, I guess, it's like a slang in this like universe. That, yeah. And Barry's like, what yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> That's how I feel, like, with, like, Gen Z Younger now. Kids. Like, I'm okay, just like, That's what? how I feel. I'm sorry. Explain to me. <laughs> what? Which one? What is Riz? Riz? It's, like, charisma. That's where it comes from. Oh, charisma. Jesus Christ. I, heard you got I don't know if you saw yeah, the yeah. Uh, video. Do that again. <laughs> yeah, Riz. I don't know if you saw the video of me. Yeah. Um, hey, no yeah. Go off, Queen. Yeah, right. no, yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah. I don't no know if cap. you saw the video. No cap. Of, no cap. Oh God, are we old? Oh. We're really fucking old. For 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 real. <laughs> for real? No. Thank do people God still for say? Do people <laughs> still say for real? <laughs> God, you were old. Man. Oh, oh fuck. Nice way to cap it off. <laughs> Wait, are people still flossing? Are, are they still Stop, saying for Tony. real? For real? Stop it, Tony. Stop. For real? It. That was for so real? like yeah, five, real, ten years. One hundred. Oh no, darn. You're, you missed them. That was like that's a weird time right there. Like I skipped that. You're not keeping it one hundred. No, we don't. What the fuck? Anymore? No. Oh, oh. That's not even like that old. Like, that's like a weird that no one even Man, Crystal, said. you're not being jiggy with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> now um, that's so, still in. If you want to use okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, that I hope so you say I don't know. You, you should be saying that's on all your dates. Like, hey, <laughs> want to get jiggy with it? Can you so, imagine Tony on a date being like, yeah. Did you guys see the video oh, yeah, of I'd me in Florida out. just being hounded by a bunch of like just drunk women? I saw. At Disney Springs. I saw. No. Did you start with getting jiggy with it? No. I just ran into a bunch of truck runs. Doing a deep voice. Yeah, I don't get the beat. And now he's gonna put us on his channel. And these girls came out of. Oh, a, I did see that. Yeah, these girls came out of a bar doing like this deep voice, and they were trying to freak me out. I'm like, oh, they have no idea who I am. So I just like started. Those play. poor women. I was hanging out with them for like. Hey, them on. That poor Tony. Dude, they no. thought they thought I was one of their friends, and they had me do a video pretending to be their friend, and they were telling me it was. So I did that video. Nice. Uh, but yeah, people in the comments are like, "Man, Tony's got Riz," and I'm get like, it, "What is Riz? Oh. I don't oh, know what Riz." Is. God damn it. It's a good thing. That's uh, stupid. Tony's You're stupid. 
<laughs> I was Tony going See, wild. See, look how dude. happens when you compliment him. Say, uh, subscribe to Hack the Movies. Subscribe to Hack the Movies! You almost got him. Yeah. So anyway, I do like that <laughs> Barry asshole. tries to get picked up by Michael Keaton. Like, <laughs> he goes to put his leg up. That was fun. Yeah, that was cool. That's and again, like, like this, this scene of Michael Keaton beating up all the people. In one hand, I'm glad we finally have, like, a super athletic action scene with Michael Keaton. Yeah. But in my brain, I'm just like, his character shouldn't be able to do all of that. Uh, but it's fun. Cool. He's it's really fun. cool. They, they kind of, and he also threw them in kind of his bait, like very. Yeah, he did throw them in his bait, like, which I thought was go awesome. Down first, and yeah. then I'll show up to save the day. So that yep. was kind of cool. Like, that. yeah, that was cool. So they're taking out all these Russian scientists. Also, is that when is that when uh, Barry goes to move the older Barry and he throws up? Right? Yeah, yeah. To yeah. He, he goes people, to move right? him and he just starts right? puking <laughs> everywhere. Yes. What did you do? <laughs> He's like, no, like get, out, get out. I thought that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a really fun sequence. But yeah, they open up um, the big dome. And instead of yeah. Superman, it is Supergirl. Supergirl. It's yeah. Kara Zor-El. Yes. And I think like Batman's like, well, Wrong person. Yeah, right. yeah. Let's, uh, let's apologize to all our comrades here and get out. He is vicious. Uh, he, he, is. Is, he is vicious. Oh, I did like, so I wish the ninja stuff I'm not into, but I do like how like he's a little outdated with this tech. He goes to plug it. He's got like a Blackberry. Yeah. He's, like, typing yeah. in how stuff. much do you weigh bringing that back? Okay. I uh, loved that. that back. I laughed uh, look, and look. no one else in the theater laughed. And <laughs> look, I was like, look oh. I'm glad he brought the how much do you weigh, but I'm mad that it wasn't misogynistic enough. <laughs> Because yeah. how much is she, and I guess with her is another. He should have been it, like another like fifty pounds. Who did the like, math there? Because you know he's like a math quiz. Although I do love like, that one of his hell? gadgets was this cool black box that was just measuring tape. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> pretty weird. funny. I thought that was that's cool. funny. Um, yeah, so they end up taking her, and she's like a skeleton. Yes. Uh, they all get cornered, but I guess the sun revives her. I'm fine with this Supergirl killing. <laughs> Because she hasn't been growing up yeah, on Earth. I mean, she hasn't She was probably been. a warrior on Krypton. Thing, so thing thing she's just me. murdering everyone. Yeah, same because she's pissed. Point. Yeah. Yeah, she's pissed. She was, she, this new land just yeah. took, takes well, her this, prisoner. This is, it's a little different than Flashpoint. So I don't know if you ever read Flashpoint or saw the movie, the anime oh, movie. Oh, God. So, I want to. You got it. You so oh, I Clark, I in that it's universe, in that universe, Clark Kent like lands as a baby, but he gets kidnapped by the government. Yep. And they just keep them away from I the do, sun. I know the yeah. story of it, yeah. So this one, she arrived as an adult, but has been like, yep, you know, sheltered. Supergirl technically does arrive as an adult, right? Either, yes. Either way. Yes. The, Most versions, she, yeah, she but usually hears Never use her Or like a teenager or adult. She's yeah, yeah. like, But yeah, she's she, been in there for She's older for than years. Superman. Yeah, whatever. That's one of the, yeah, I yeah. actually really like the character of Supergirl, and I enjoyed yeah. the first few seasons of the show. Yeah. One of the things I like about Supergirl is that she actually has memories of Krypton and yeah. stuff, yes. so like whereas Clark doesn't, so that's cool. Help him with, you know, different memories and stuff and a lot of people were like kind of mad about uh sasha's performance through this that it was kind of like you know kind of rock solid and didn't like give a lot but she's but also supposed to the be. character's also been locked up her yeah. whole life yeah she's again so, she's not like what i would picture yeah. supergirl she doesn't well, look like supergirl yeah. beautiful but, but looks like if she was cavill's cousin yeah, yes. that's what you get. And then also, you know, like that's, although I will admit that, that she, she needs is. she needs red boots. The suit without the red boots. The was boots would have been yeah. But no, I thought she did. I, I thought she did a good job. I kind of like her character in this. Um, I know they badass. are planning to do a Supergirl movie. I don't know if they're bringing her. I back. I think it depends on the feedback from how you know people like her or yeah. whatever. But yeah. I think they should bring her back. So yeah. I you... like this version. It's not just that blonde happy mm -hmm. version. It's yeah. she's got fucking shit to deal with. Yeah. Damn, girl. Girl, let it be known. <laughs> but if yeah, they yeah. want to do the blonde version, do a Power Girl from a different universe. Yeah, yeah. that'd be fun. Come in. Yes. Be fun. So, you know what I mean? I thought they were going to do Power Girl on the show, and then they didn't. And they didn't. Um, they you don't didn't see enough to... Power Girl. You always hear Power Girl, but you never see her, yeah. I feel like. I mean, Would she yeah, be allowed yeah. to have... Well, I mean, yeah, Supergirl's not allowed to have a skirt anymore. They, like the TV show, they gave they her got pants. Rid of it. Yeah. Oh, like Power Girl's got a very yeah. specific costume yeah, that I don't does. think you'd be allowed to use. I think she made it like one season with a skirt, and they were like pants, pants. No, they these are like that. three seasons. They were like, now it's pants. Yeah, and then the ratings went down. <laughs> oh um, god. So yeah, uh, I like her. They go back. They try to like restrategize. Like, oh shit, Superman's not here. Zod is coming. We're like fucked. What are we gonna do? Yeah. 
Um, and I think like Barry realizes like he needs his powers. Yeah. The old Barry needs his powers back. And he like, you know, I do like Michael Keaton where he like takes, he's like stitching himself up and he's like ha- happy. Yeah. Again. He's like, oh, I do I, like that. I, that that was a cool little that shot. That was cool. He was yeah. like, I don't know. If, I mean, he was a little jacked up in yeah. there too. Yeah. Bleeding all out of the arm. Yeah. The head yeah. shaved now. He, yeah. just, he looks really, I thought he, he looked, looked badass. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah uh, so yeah, the plan is now to give Barry his powers back. And I like that young Barry hears about the dead mom, yeah. but is like kind of keeping it to himself. Yep. So they they come up with the plan to uh, electrocute him with all the chemicals. And Bruce Wayne just puts a bat shaped kite in the air. <laughs> it just happens to be storming that day. Well, he said, "Good." Oh no, it's from Flashpoint when he's like, "Well, you're in Gotham," because he, he's like, yeah. "Oh, I need a little bit of you know chemicals and the lightning ball," and he was like. Well, you're in God. <laughs> but in this one, I don't think he does say that. Yeah, okay. I do like that he has a Wayne Enterprise shirt because I guess this is like something his company made. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. like the the jumpsuit on. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, but I also he's like, by the way, I think this is a bad idea. Like, he doesn't think it's oh, gonna yeah. work. Yeah. But yeah, he's putting a bat shaped kite in the air. It's like, well, I hope the neighbors aren't like. I think Bruce Wayne might be Batman. Yeah, isn't it yeah. weird? Whenever the bat signal goes up, all those bat lights go yeah, into his house, yeah. and now it's he the has same that universe where you're just like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but I like that it doesn't work right away. I yes. love that. I mean, especially in Flashpoint, I mean, Barry just gets destroyed and then mm. has to be bandaged up, third degree bone, or burns all over his yeah. body. So in this, I thought it was really cool that, you know, it doesn't work at first because once you saw that coming, it was like, oh, dude, he's screwed. They're going to have to do it twice. Like, yeah. you see it coming. And then he gets burned. And then uh, I don't, do you like, you know, Supergirl coming in for yeah, the I like next that. I shot? Did. Right? Like, I did. I like that. So she comes back because... Um, she like spies on Zod because so Zod has started his war. Oh. So yeah, he's finally he's finally healed with the lightning, and she's like, "Hey, why did you save me?" I feel like this conversation should have happened before she saved him, where she's like, "Why did you save me?" He's like, "It was the right thing to do," and she's like, "I'm going to help you fight Zod." Yeah, um, which is kind of weird, right? She goes to the desert, sees him. The battle yeah. begins. She comes flying back, saves Barry. Mm. They get all back together, and then they go back to the desert, and they're still fighting. Did this, does the yeah. fight? Does the battle last that long in Man of Steel? Or is it just like a... Well, there is no battle in Man of Steel because they give him Superman in that scene. Because people were wondering, like, why is this whole fight in the desert? Wasn't in the Metropolis? Like, no, because That's they met right, because the military he... in the desert and they yeah. gave him Superman. But that didn't happen, so they just went all out war with everyone. Um, I did like seeing Michael Shannon yeah. back because I actually, yeah. as much as I don't yes. like Man of Steel or anything, I wanted him to be a good oh. Zod and he was in a bad movie. But So I'm yeah. nice to see him get, like, a second chance. Yes. Zod. I feel like you don't yeah. see his good. face really in this. Like I feel you like don't. with the CGI and all that, and the and the masks yeah. that they use, like yes. for their suits, like it feels like he's not there. Like yeah, it's, he's very like much like phoning it in maybe or it just like they imposed it. Yeah, the yeah. Entire time. give me like yeah. some new Superimposed. great like Zod lines. Like Michael yeah. Shannon is a force to be reckoned with, and you don't want to give me like new content from him. No, or... it, he is his personality is not there. It's just I did like that he his asked. Presence, that's it. I like yeah. that he asked for permission from Zack Snyder to be in it. And Snyder's like, yeah, do whatever you want, buddy. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> he like would have felt well, bad. Yet he said that he talked to you know had a long conversation with Snyder with Snyder saying you know hey I'm going to use this you know is it okay what can I do what can I not do and no. Snyder was like oh go on. Off, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. And I like Barry's. Oh, nuts. I like uh, young Barry. I like, yeah, he does the get that. So he's ready to join the battle. I like, he's like, what did you call us? The Justice League? It's like, I'm in. I'm going to help you fight Zod. Supergirl's in to fight Zod. Yeah. Young Barry makes his own flash suit out that of like the Batman Returns scene. I like he like shaved the ears off. That was actually, yeah. I actually, now, that was the one time I actually heard the entire audience laugh when yeah. he was like actually saw in the ears. Although there was what like we noticed, I do like that he, when he's in the suit, he turned, he could barely yes, turn. Yes, when they're in the thing. <laughs> yeah. But then it's awkward because then the CGI model, his head's fine. He was fine. And then, <laughs> they make, and then they make a point to show that the suit gets cut so he can move his head earlier. So I don't know if it. like it's just, the effects department not communicating with yes. each other like his head's but not even supposed the, to move. When he, Michael Ke- even Mike Ke- yeah. Michael oh Keaton's Batman outfit also he still can't move it which I still enjoy yeah. like it's still very authentic to the mm. original well, he's fighting he's like flying and flipping all over the place yeah yeah, yeah so then though there's this big battle and I kind of like the two Barrys working together I thought that was really cool very. that was cool I like Supergirl I like, oh, like we can't kill these guys because yep. they're Kryptonians yep. obviously I'll but we can like distract them, them. yeah to help her. I don't remember the Kryptonian weapons working on Superman. Like, right? like he, he, she gets stabbed with a blade, but like in man of steel, like at one point Zod just like rips off his armor. Like it's nothing. Yeah. Cause he's so much stronger than it, but his blade is able to pierce her. And it's not like it's kryptonite. It's not kryptonite. I want to oh. say, 
And it's not even like it's in, like, remember when Man of Steel, they brought him into the ship and it had their atmosphere so yeah. it weakened him? Yeah. That's not it's a not thing. Like that. The only way I can justify it is because it's only been so long since she's been able to regenerate. Yeah. It hasn't been long enough, yep. I feel like, because she's been locked up. Like, this is a, like, when Superman, right. like, he is there. Yeah. Like, he has to relearn, like, how Superman to had, use. like, 30-something yeah. years of absorbing exactly. sunlight. Exactly. Like, yeah. Absorbing yeah. sunlight, but also knowing the difference between, you know, uh, his powers versus what he can do here on Earth. Yeah. Mm. She's been locked up this entire time. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't know how to use it with Earth's gravity and all that. She knows how to spit at a uh, uh, a statue. Though. Yeah, she blows she up does. a statue and spit. <laughs> I love that moment. By the it's way, when she great. starts, I'm guessing at some point. I'm guessing like, at some know. point she landed because she does know how to fly and stuff. Yeah. I'm guessing she might have been like with her powers that at some point they captured her somehow. Captured yeah, her that's what quick. I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, she had some time to know how they work here. Yeah. But, yeah. I but like in this, like time. Zod never really learns how to do it because in Man of Steel, he's slowly like, remember they break his helmet and the atmosphere is yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in and this, they kind of keep their helmets on Which and everything. Yeah. upsets me. Like, yeah. you know, I get that. Okay, like they're, they're not going to get their full powers or whatever through it but mm. sh show their faces man yeah, yeah. bring them back like, yeah the but it is um, really showing like how quick this has happened after like man steel where it the, you know you have an entire movie worth of this and it's yeah. like how quickly can everything happen yeah. and, and like, again this is going this is kind of where it started to lose me because like all the man of steel imagery because i just don't like that movie i'm like oh now we're in Man of Steel. I think it's great um batman batman's able to take out two kryptonian ships i don't know how his gadgets are able to pierce interstellar spaceships yeah but got, they do and yeah. he makes them crash into each other this, i thought that was cool this whole ending thing i mean even like the cgi it's like if you're really yeah. like watching what's going on in the background i feel like it's like all just like it's poor cgi it, yeah. it, it oh really, absolutely it, it takes you out of it but you know you had a lot of fun with the berries you know working with each other seeing zod against supergirl batman in the mix and all that but yeah. it just is this part of what Mushiati saying is that it's from Flash's perspective as well to where you know, that's again I think that's just the, I think Ooh, that's the like chrome that. and coronal up, dome up, I think but... he's referring to that actually the effects didn't bother me too much in this scene no but I mean like, uh, a lot, of, as good. Well, a lot but, of people are talking about is this scene and how it looks you know yeah. very like off but either way I'm more of like the kind of guy that's as long as you give me a good story yeah I mean I watch the that's animated movies yeah. so it's like <laughs> if you give me a good story I don't care what it looks like as yeah. long as you can connect with me and I can get but no this whole scene it's fun how they're like they're like using the electricity to like kind of shock the Kryptonians. Yeah. Yeah. What do you uh, say? Can, can I go all Emperor on them? Yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Finally, they brought that up because in the show, yeah, for the past like five years, they've been doing that. And yeah, it's like just have Flash punch somebody or do <laughs> yeah. something. But they've been like copping out and just having them do like the, yeah. the Emperor stuff, the, the so. lightning throw. Yeah. Um. So yeah, That's Supergirl good. dies, and then Oof. Batman dies. Yo. He, he's like, I'm going to shoot that ship. And it's just like, that ship's from outer space. Your weapons will do nothing. Have you not seen the military yeah. weapons do <laughs> yeah. nothing? But why yeah. crash into it? Oh, because it was damaged. His ship got damaged. Okay. I think he it just kamikaze right. yeah. so Let me take some. Oh, what I was saying. He could, yeah, because right. he couldn't inject that's himself. Right. He's what like, I liked well, about. Going down, yeah. Might as well. He, got, he had no other option. Yeah. Yes. It was. He's oh, going yeah. Away, right. He was going to attempt to do some type of. If he's going out, he's going out yeah. with a purpose. Yeah. Good thing you watched it recently because it's yeah. been like a week. I was going to say. I it's did literally like... been five <laughs> days. His plane. I love how his plane is like kind of like a gyrosphere. Like he stays in place and it spins around him. Like, oh, that that's cool. cool. That was really cool. So when the big Kryptonian jumped on his yes. ship, yeah. I thought that he was going to reach in, grab Keaton's head, <laughs> and pop it yeah. like it happened in Man of Steel. Are they ever going to explain what the hell the big Kryptonians Dude. are? That's really annoying that there's just <laughs> giant Kryptonians. Just big as Why aren't they all is? giants if they're into genetic engineering <laughs> yeah. and stuff? They should all be giants. Right. It's weird that you just have like two or three giant Kryptonians. That was, you just know. Just let it be, okay. Anyway. <laughs> What this is they? when we start the whole, like, we got to go back in time and fix this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, like, you see, like, the awesome. younger Barry keeps going back and getting more injured. Then you you piece together, like, oh, he's the Dark Flash. Yeah. So I really wanted, when they go back into the Chrono Bowl, Chronosphere yeah. thing, I, you know, and then, they, and then they team up and they're like, okay, let's go back and let's do it. So they go and they do it real quick. And then they only do it one more time. Mm -hmm. I wanted you know, at least five or six different, like kind of give me like different moments and different things that they could do. Like yeah. Supergirl, maybe possibly like, you know, doing something more, you know, badass instead of just, Oh, oh. Into a thing. we also forgot to mention, 
Uh, in this universe, uh, Kal El did not have the stupid DNA thing from Man of Steel. Supergirl has it, right. so oh, yeah. Zod wants that. I hate that whole and he killed, plot line. He killed. Kal-El. Yeah, he killed the baby. Yeah. He just killed the baby. Yeah. I don't know if he meant he to kill the baby. So I guess like whatever. Oh, no, he did. He meant to kill no, no, no. Yes. I think yes. like whatever they did to pull the stuff out of him just killed the baby. Like, oh, the baby didn't have it. I guess more well, just he, baby. Because no, he, he baby straight up kills her. They don't give a fuck. Nah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. yeah. Because in order to get it, you got to kill them and get their yeah. DNA. Anyway, yeah. anyway. So like, yeah, they try to me. they try to do it again. They're like, hey, Batman, you're not going to be able to blow that ship up. He's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Batman nice. has like. Like the bombs. Like, I'm sorry. He crashes his ship. And then he, again, he's doing like a million ninja moves, putting yeah. a million bombs yeah. on but, the big guy. I love yeah. that. Which isn't going to work. Someone should tell like, Batman, just run away. You yeah. can't kill well, this he guy. He doesn't know. He what doesn't he say, know. He said you brought me back one last time. Yeah. Which was I like do, kind of meta and cool. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do like that. But the fact that like, you know, I like the fact that he does die from all that because he yeah. is older. He's not Here, able to. Here's the problem yeah. I have. Like, you're right. The Michael Keaton Batman dying should have been a bigger impact on me, but I was aware of the original DC plan yeah. where he was going to be the Batman going forward, yes, which was crazy. I so having crazy. that mind, if I didn't know that, this might have affected me a little differently. Okay, but knowing that, I'm just like, because I expected him to come back at the end, like they were going to yeah. show all the universes are back to normal. Yeah. So like, I didn't really, I wasn't super invested in his no, death. Why would he would? Why would you see that going back to normal when like that's that's that universe? I don't where, know. I thought there was gonna no. be like a happy ending. Like, oh, Barry fixed everything. And no, yeah, Batman, his whole know. thing is like that universe. That's just the way it's supposed to be in that universe. They are not supposed know, to survive. I know. I know. But like, so, so why I, would he survive? The point is, I couldn't get super like invested in the death because I just me knowing and again this is like, just me knowing too much about the movie. I yeah. knew that wasn't supposed to be his final death. Yes, it's kind of like when Luke Skywalker died in the last. Jedi, I'm like, I know he's gonna come back as a ghost in the next one, so I don't really care. But also, why do you like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know the whole. Uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I, was just, <laughs> I literally, I just had like five thoughts run through my. But head then through I do thought. like this, where like, um, and then actually speaking of Booster Gold, the yeah. story Booster Gold Fifty Two pickup, they do a storyline like this. So mm. he's trying to explain them, like, no, there are like fixed moments in history that you're not supposed to change. Yes. And it's just going to keep happening over and over yeah, and over no again. Yeah. And uh, in the Booster Gold book, um, Rip Hunter teaches Booster Gold this lesson. He's like, all right, Booster, because Booster Gold's like, I want to save my friend Blue Beetle. Yeah. And Rip Hunter's like, okay, before we do that, you got to stop Batgirl from being shot by the Joker and killing Joke. And then Booster Gold keeps going back to that timeline and he keeps failing. Yeah. Like he keeps, like he, no matter what he does, the Joker will shoot back. It's a hard point and then Rip Hunter is like, by the way, that was a test. There's no way to fix that. It's yeah. a fixed yeah. point in time. I did that as to, to demonstrate, like, yeah. you can't change certain things. Yeah. They did it in uh, Legends of Tomorrow as well. They did yeah. in the final season, um, somebody gets killed in the street or something like that. And they're, they're a whole bunch of tra- time travelers are in this bar. And they're like, all right, who's up next to try and, you know, save the day? This yeah. and that. And then they always end up getting killed. And this and they also that. did in the Flash cool. when Irish is supposed Ir- Irish when Irish is supposed to die. From Savitar. Yeah. And yeah. Then they figured out a way around it. Yeah, they but yeah, so I this is recently. they just put Savitar into this movie as well. There yeah. was like, there's a lot of shows that do that. There was the one where no matter what, there was like a very specific thing they had to change. It was something about going into a bank and no matter what, everyone would die. I forget what show it was or movie. Oh, that sounds familiar. What was I this? can't remember what it is. No what was this? Yeah. But yeah, oh. no. So that's the lesson. He's like, hey, yeah. s- s- scary Barry. Who's it, been was d- it was X-Files. It was X-Files. That's that, why. It recently? Was <laughs> recently? Recently? <laughs> I've been <new> going. Seasons? <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, yeah, that show recently. That episode from that 1997. That I saw recently. Okay. Because I've been going uh, back and rewatching them. Like, I, I, that's my comfort show. Yeah. Like, I rewatch and I'm like, wait, what was nice. that? It was X-Files. Yes. Where now I know like, exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's so a cool lesson. It's like, hey, look, no matter what we do, this breaks everything. And I'm like, cool, I'm in on this. And then they had to do a bunch of cameos. <laughs> well, oh, God, yeah. The, I mean, these, cam- these, these cameos get a yeah. little bit over the top. It's very cool to see Nick Cage. And oh, Cage yeah, okay, okay, spoiler. Okay, okay. That. Well, that's the cameos it, we're talking about, right? Yeah. So yes. Did I spoil that we're just no. talking about? We also <laughs> see Adam West for a second. Oh, and George cool. Reeve. You hear Joker's voice or George in, Reeves. in the background, right? Yes, he, it's, it's Christopher Reeve. Yes. Yeah. George, George Reeves, Reeves. Or reversed. I always mess those two but up. But it's, I thought though the um, the Nicolas Cage was awesome, but I think they showed it too much. 
I yeah, he looked again it was way too much. Way I, they just did it, and it was a glance, yeah. and you're like, wait, fuck, like think, it should have been a glance. Like I a, think you should have had Flash somehow running through those universes. Yeah, because now it just looks like oops, sorry. So now it just looks like you're putting up on screen, you know, shots that everyone wants to see again. So now That's it's super it fan service. Mm. Yeah, but if you figure out a way to have the Flash trying to run through to fix something, and then just ends up in those universes. Yeah, he flies by a giant spider. Nick Cage looks down, and he looks up at Nick Cage, and he's like, "What is yeah. happening right yes. now?" Runs to the next one. Yeah. You see, and then that's where you get the CW guy in there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Teddy, Teddy. Oh, yeah. So that yeah. was her. So in the, that's uh, what it was. the it was, 50s. Yeah. The Jay Garrick. Yeah. The, the George Reeve one. It's yeah. Jay Garrick. But Teddy Sears didn't actually play Jay Garrick. He played Zoom, played Zoom. pretending to be pretending. Jay Garrick. But I guess this is an alternate timeline where he was Jay but Garrick. But you can't give me Grant Gustin for five <laughs> seconds? Or. I don't, it doesn't even look like Teddy's face. That's or, what he should have had. Yes. Or what's his face? The guy who played Jay Garrick in the show, who yeah. was also the original, the original Flash, Flash from the 90s. Yeah. Yes, John it, Wesley Shipp. You should yeah. have had all the original Flash. Like, give me the flashes. original Flash, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah your original Batman. Yeah. Why so, can't you do original Flash? The CGI flashes? cameos yeah. are a little distract because they are very... Di like, in the Chrome, the Chrome Dome, I'm fine. Yeah. But yeah, when it cuts to like Too Nicolas Cage, I love seeing Nicolas out. Cage, but I'm like, he looks like a doll. Yeah. And then people <sighs> are really upset about the Christopher Reeve one. Just, but here's my thing. Like, I know they're like, this is offensive and whatnot. Uh, Christopher Reeves, he did a, um, I don't know if you remember, there was a Super Bowl commercial years ago where they digitally made it look like he could walk again. They like put his face on someone to make it look like he could walk again. A lot of the DC comics were using his image and likeness yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. in the comics. So I feel like this I think is that's something. That's fine. I mean, you're, re you're remembering him. Here's the thing. As here's a the thing. Character. You know I mean? That's yeah. the thing. It's his character. Here, here's the thing. I know there is an, an issue actor. with bringing actors back from the dead because can they consent to it? I'm sure his estate was fine with it. But like because he did that thing where he had them digitally recreate him while he was still alive, and because they've been using his image and likeness in the books, part of me is like, he might have been okay with something like this, or his estate's okay with like something. I mean, we'll never know for sure. It's his like main character that he. It's played not as it. offensive yeah. as People stuff hope. like you're like, oh look yeah. at that. That's that's. It like, didn't bother me as much as how Ramus and Ghostbusters Afterlife. Because it was almost like disrespectful. Aspect. Because that was disrespectful. Because like, yes. he's not act. That is not how his character would act. Exactly. That was like a total betrayal of his character, and it was yes. just really yeah. disrespectful. Here, it's just Christopher Reeve and Helen Slater. They brought her in there, sure, just staring at a portal. I'm like, cool. okay, that's not like yeah. the end of the world like, for me. But then those planets or those universes they start, start clashing together. Clashing, right? Yeah. yeah. So like you're watching them, like you know, just the universe being destroyed. There, yeah. Which is, and then. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. The whole, the whole just, sequence. I just wish that they had Barry running through those yeah. times. I just, and it would have brought yeah. you in more and connected more. It just, yeah, I agree. I agree. And it should have been a very quick shot. And by the way, by the yeah. way. Nicholas Cage was just too Agreed. long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You guys said uh, it was a spider. It's a Thanagarian snare Thanagarian. beast. Uh, Jesus Christ. Christ. I bet Kevin Smith is, is proud of it. <laughs> Which is awesome. I mean, congrats to Kevin Smith. Yeah. Stuff's being shown. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I mean, it's very exciting. Although I do Fun. think those were two different because Kevin Smith was writing a Superman movie. I don't know if Nicolas Cage was attached to it. it was the same thing, but... Because yeah, Nicolas Cage was going to be in Tim Burton's one, but I don't yes. think that was using the Kevin Smith was, script. Was so that they just, not the same I don't script? No. I don't know. It's don't been know. a while since I watched that documentary yes, yeah, where they yeah. break all that down. I still haven't even uh, So yes, Barry finally realizes. Then the movie kind of wins me back when, after the cameo fest. <sighs> Which, I mean, yeah. we can't really <laughs> criticize the bad-looking cameos based off the cameos of superheroes we've had on this show. Cut to the real. Oh, no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, yeah, he finally realizes, like, this... Like, uh, what you call it? The younger Barry sacrifices himself, which kills him in the future. The big, scary, dark Barry. Yeah, yeah. well, he wants him to to stay or if he kills the, yeah. if the sabotage uh, dark flash kills yeah. the, the older Barry then he can continue to try to save his world yeah. and and this and that which yeah. okay you, but you, I mean the main villain of this whole thing you get for a minute like you know maybe two minutes possibly yeah. so where yeah. like it, le it all leads up to that I mean I guess your main villain really is Barry understanding that yeah. he can't mess with time yes yeah. but to just have you know Sabotar, Dark Flash, whatever you want to call him, come in and then just be like, "You ruined me," and then him, and then go to stab him, and then he kills yeah. Young Barry. It's fine, but I mean, I just wanted something more climatic. Yeah, yeah, it this. really wasn't. It yeah. was very straightforward, and mm. he's not. 
I felt like there wasn't as much of a emotion in that scene either, yeah. where he's just like, this is what it is. But like, and all of a sudden it was like nothing. They like there's a moment where he it. literally like, yeah. just, it looks like there's no more emotion where he's watching all the worlds collide. And it's like, yeah. he kind of understands, but you're like, there's no way this character understands anything no, from just... everything he's been through. But then he goes back. And he removes the tomatoes. I he knows what he had it kind of remind me of season one of Flash, where he oh, goes, dude. where he goes back to save his mom, and then he sees an older version telling him to stop. Yeah. So he has to just let. That's them what all I almost thought so was cool. going to happen, yeah. especially through that series. You start to have other flashes implanted yeah. into that yeah. moment. Yeah. So it'd be I also cool like if... that they they didn't tell you who killed his mom. I mean, we yes. assume it's Reverse Flash because we know, yes. but they never fully confirm. But I don't it. think it is in this one. I think it's just, you know, instead of attaching reverse flash to that moment, which I do love in the show and why they do it, but instead it just, you know, instead of, you know, uh, uh, attaching it onto his his origin story about, oh, it's all reverse flash and let me get mm -hmm. him. It's it's more emotional in this where it's like, my mom was just killed. Yeah. yeah. And I need to figure out a way to deal with it. There's no yeah, way for he's me not to really trying to solve the murder. He just wants to prevent it it's from happening. Just, you know, yeah. I want it to stop. Yeah, know? so he, 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 Leaves the can of tomatoes. He has a very emotional scene I with cried. her. This is where she, I cried. Yeah. Oh, dude, I cried at this point. He was crying. I didn't cry. I, I was lifting weights the whole time. <laughs> Frank was like, this is a bad time to lift I'm weights. I'm sweating out of my eyes. Yeah, and I was... <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, I'm a man. I, Frank was like, Tony, this is a very emotional moment. You shouldn't be lifting weights in the theater screaming you're a man. And then he was like, where did you even get the weights? Why did you do the weights? Uh, he brought them in in his popcorn bag. It was all yep, yep. And then I walked out of the theater. I started punching people. Punching. He's such a man. He and I said, man. I'm, I'm like not a, a baby. Man. I'm a you tough like guy. A I cried. Like a man. It's just with the Flash character, with this and the TV show, yeah. uh, I used to watch it with my mother. And then... She passed away, RIP, mm. not to get all sad on everybody. No. Um, but to see these moments of, I love how the Flash, you know, in, the, in this, you know, these origins that he has to go back and wants to save his mom, mm. but knowing that he can't. Uh, and having that moment to be like, you know, goodbye and this and that, and no. I tried and, you know, all that. It's just, and then having to come back to the future and, you know, in Flashpoint, his last thing is, you know, I'm sorry, mom. And then he yeah. comes back to the future. Yeah. He knows that yeah. you can't. So it's a good time. moment, but he, yeah. um, by the way, did I ever tell you I met your mom once? Uh, ooh, God bless you. This was a <laughs> she was a rough one. This was the funniest thing. <laughs> Trisha invited me one. over to watch uh, True Blood because we were True Blood fans yeah, yeah. when I was living in uh, Doylestown. I was probably living? there at the house, man. Uh, we you weren't there that day. No? No, what? I didn't meet you until later. You yeah. were living there. I don't yeah, yeah. think you were there that day. I remember walking in. You guys had a little dog. Yep. And I just Darcy. and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And I, I met her mom for the first time. Like, hey, I don't want to freak you out. You have a rat in your house. <laughs> <laughs> And your mom like cracked up. She was like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, there's a rat there. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> you want me to let it out?" <laughs> she was a uh, firecracker. Yeah. Really? So, but we watched the Flash. To, we watched the first yeah. season of the Flash together and all that. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, it just brings back yeah. memories to be able to you know do this and you know and you always yeah. wish you could turn back time. So yes, uh, but he figures out a way. It's like, all right, I can't save my mom. Love this. But I can move the tomatoes to the top shelf so my dad's face is on camera. Yes. He's able to save his dad in the future. Uh, so I thought that was like a clever workaround with it. He's like, was. he can't stop the murder, but he can get his dad out of jail. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was great. Yeah. So Very it's smart. like this happy ending. And then Bruce Wayne calls him. Now, again, there were some last minute reshoots. And you could tell. I don't know if you noticed. So it's Ezra Miller. They look normal. It cuts to like Bruce Wayne getting out of the car or something. It cuts yeah. back to Ezra Miller. He is a doll. He's like a very smooth doll saying something. Cuts and then the back to normal. Barry's back to normal. And I'm like, oh, something got changed yeah, there. Something. That was a very last minute yeah. change. Um, so yeah, Bruce Wayne shows up. Who is a crystal? Oh my God, I wet my pants. Uh, Whoa. I totally creamed them. Like it was George Clooney. Georgie. Which, uh, yeah. Georgie, baby. I'm so excited. Uh, He's ba definitely Batman Robbins right, right there if you want to pull it out. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to pull it out. Oh, no, it stays in, baby. <laughs> this is a kid show. Um, so, yeah, I like, I like it's George Clooney. What does he say? Everyone was laughing, so I couldn't hear what the Flash said he's, to him. He said, like, he dropped the F-bomb. Yeah, he he's like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, who and he's just like, what's you? wrong with you? I'm Batman. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so interestingly uh, enough, that was cool. So we, I, I don't it. know if you followed the production, that was no. supposed to be Michael Keaton. Yes. There are set pictures from like a year ago where he's wearing the same blue suit coming out of the same yes. car. And then oh, wow. Supergirl was same supposed thing. to be in that scene also. Yes. Huh. They had her coming down. So, so I think it was supposed to be like he fixed everything, but he changed who Batman was. So my brain fart from earlier was 
why cast Keaton as the Batman of this universe? Like, I, I mean, th- I think it's a great idea. Get, like, Gunn probably came in and was like, why are we going to put a 72-year-old as our Batman? Yeah, that was... Let's, you know, let's rethink I guess the this. idea was we have one universe with a young Batman. We can yes. have this old nostalgia one. I'm like... That's, that's what. Not, it, that's I mean, exactly what it they was. They shot yeah. old that's Batgirl exactly. with him being the Batman. Yeah. Right. Like. Oh. Yeah. Man. Where he's with like the the, the commissioner Gordon yeah. from Justice League. It's very. It could be a great movie. Hey, it could have been great. But no. Keaton is. We'll never know. Movie. They they killed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah uh, so yeah, I wonder when the George Clooney stuff happened. Yeah. Had, had to be recently, right? It had to be. Wait, the one the one screening wasn't there like not an ending for an earlier screening. So uh, one of the gentlemen that were sitting in front of us uh, said that he saw it uh, like a year ago. And yeah. He said that. That just cut off right there when Bruce Wayne got out of the car and you didn't see who it was. Oh, uh, okay. He just said, gotcha. you know, you that it wasn't your regular Ben Affleck Batman and they just cut it there okay. with him saying, who the F are you? Yeah. And that was it. Huh. So uh, the movie ends. We now know that Barry has more cleaning up to do. Uh, I did like the credits of the dog because we never saw what happened to the dog during that opening scene. So the credits are playing while the dog is falling and you just see the flash saving the babies in the background. That was actually kind of That funny. was fun. The post credit cool. sequence was stupid. Yeah, everyone what in the I, theater. So like, what freaked. I read, there okay. was the post credit sequence where they're in a bar, and apparently uh, the Michael Keaton Batman was going to be on TV, and yeah. Aquaman was supposed to be because I think Michael Keaton shot a scene for Aquaman too, and then I think they redid it with Ben Affleck. He shot a lot for a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Who which now now the Ben Affleck scene might be deleted. Yeah. Both Batman scenes might be deleted. Who knows? Um, that was a thing. Early screenings for like Batgirl, people were confused that Michael Keaton was in it. They're like, what the hell is he Who's doing? In this? Yeah. Um, so yeah, apparently they were in the bar and Aquaman was supposed to be like, no, Batman's always looked like that. Like that was supposed to be like the thing. So I assume that was cut out. Yeah. Done. And yeah. So we just get a scene of him coming out of a bar and, and just being Barry's fine. trying to explain why have Aquaman be so trashed? Like why? Like I get like, it's a joke and over the top yeah. he's falling on. Himself. He does like to drink. We learned from the Aquaman movie. He likes to drink and party, I yeah. get um, it. but like the water and this it and didn't that. amount like, to anything. It it's didn't. really, it's literally only there to remind you that Aquaman two is also, coming out. Do you yeah. think that Barry, so in the end there, he says, you know, I traveled to all these different universes, but you're always the same, but there's like, you know, I met a whole bunch of different Batman. Batman. You mm-hmm. think that he, after the George Clooney one, like traveled to, That's different, what I was gonna maybe. to different ones once he figured that out and now we're in our regular timeline? Or maybe. he's still in the Clooney one and like, yo, like I went to these two other Earths mm. and, you know, Batman's not. So like, I, I'm trying to figure out where we end it there and is... And is Barry, you know, from that conversation, going to take back off into the timelines and try and find a new one? And then that's yeah. where we end up in the gun verse. Hopefully. So, well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe yeah. Blue Beetle will tell us more. See, what I think they should have oh. done was make a reference to Flashpoint there mm. and say, I also traveled in this other universe where you and Wonder Woman were fighting each other and the world was about to Oh, right. That, that would have been universe. fun. That yeah. would have been like a fun little throwaway line to put in there. I thought mm. that would have been cool. Yeah. But, but um, overall, I enjoyed the movie. Like I said... The visual effects make it hard for me to get into it in the beginning. The cameos were a little, were a little distracted at the end. kind of gets a little too long at the end. But that whole middle yes. section and good. the whole lesson of, like, we need our pain to define us, which, yeah. again, was explored in Star Trek V. Um, I kind of liked it. Stars. I liked yes. it. Is it, like, the greatest movie ever made? Not really. No. I, I think I like, same. I like some of the other DC. I think I like the Shazam movies more. The really? first Wonder Woman movie more than this. Really? Yeah. Huh. I, enjoy, I enjoyed Birds of Prey also. That was a lot of fun. The su- the Suicide Squad. But it's not a bad, it's not it's, like, it's not like Black Adam. It's no Black Adam. Oh my God. I just, I yeah. really, I love this movie a lot. Like the yeah. baby stuff, like there's certain stuff that, you know, I would have taken mm-hmm. out and putting something different in. But I really, uh, I really enjoy, you know, kind of what they did with the character, what, uh, you know, Ezra did with you know mm. Barry Allen and yeah. kind of giving us something fresh and new. And yeah, Ezra, you know, they I did think, they did a good job. I, I mean, I can really see how the job. younger one could be a little grating. I'm gonna go. But see you it needed again. it. Yeah, I think I think this was was this a great movie? I don't think it was a great movie. Mm. What, did I have a lot of fun? Yeah. Absolutely. And do I think it was a good story? I yeah. found it yeah. very very interesting mm-hmm. and different concepts that were different. I loved the exploring of different characters, the exploring of how things could be different. I yeah. always find that fascinating. Would I see it again? 
Maybe not movie theaters, but if it's on TV, absolutely. Yeah, I'd probably I would watch probably, it again I would absolutely streaming. stream it again. I yeah. think I would have fun, but would I say this is a great yeah. movie? No, but is it worth just watching if, yeah. you know, for entertainment purposes? They, absolutely. Yeah, they said there's a four-hour cut. I don't know if I need really? to watch four hours of this, but I would like to see just a yeah. little more details. I would like details. to see the cuts. See, yeah. I wouldn't want to see the whole thing all together, yeah, but just show scenes. me the extra stuff. Just, just my, the deleted scenes. Exactly. The problem is watching through all this and saying, like, but... Because I'm big on what Marvel does through their universes yeah. and sets up the next one and this and that, even though people like, you know, single movies. Mm-hmm. And that. But if it's a flash, it's like, and I'm watching it and I love the character. It's like, but it does, but does it matter? Like, yeah. where do we go from here? Yeah. And I yeah. feel like that's why a lot of people won't go to the movies this weekend because they're like, well, Gunn's starting a new universe. And well, that's, that's what really that. hurt Shazam. That so, really hurt Shazam yeah. too. Yeah, people yeah. were like, eh. And he said the Blue Be- Blue Beetle's the first character in the DCU, mm-hmm. and then Superman's the first full movie in the DCU, something okay. like that. But it's like, are you? Is that going to make me go out to see Blue Beetle? I mean, obviously, I'm going to go see it. Yeah, yeah. but I have to see it for the show, else or else I'd it. wait. I waited for Black Adam, uh, but now that I'm doing these live wrap ups, I kind of have to see these movies oh, again. No. Yeah. Was Black Adam really that bad? It was bad. It was That's what everyone. Was. They overthought it. They over. And I feel like some because this movie took so long, it had so many rewrites. Because yeah. I think at some point, Cyborg was supposed to be like a main character yeah, in main it. Character. That didn't happen. It was supposed to be like a buddy movie. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. So they had to like. I understand they had to readjust everything. But yeah, I mean. A lot of times with these movies where you overthink it and it takes too long, it can be a mess. Yeah. Yes. Besides some dodgy visual effects, I think overall it was fine. Black Adam should have been in Shazam 2. That's, it Don't even get me Shazam started. Shazam Do not get me. We, t- we covered Shazam 2 and Black Adam in our live episodes, and I clipped those on the Clips channel what? if you don't want to watch full live episodes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, we had a really good time, yeah. me and Frank, at our, at our event, and Crystal by herself in a theater crying. <laughs> We can go watch. It I say later. that as someone who just saw the new Transformers by themselves. Yeah. Listen, next time that you know I get some free tickets out there, I'm I'm bringing you with. Oh. <laughs> but no, I I enjoyed the movie. I know people have. I a could pain. have seen it with people. FYI, I uh-huh. was six people asked totally. me. Totally, six yeah. people yeah, asked yeah. me to go see no, it with them. I'm sure, like I've been going out totally. every fucking night, and I was like, I don't want to be around people. Totally. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You wow. got friends. We know. You don't wow. have to. Yeah. Right? Tell me, right? She's got well, friends. Crystal had some friends. She went on another podcast to talk about movies recently. I did. Cheating on and us, And the too. movie you talked about is right there. Cheating on us, swear? too. Behind you. There's, There's so lie. many fucking movies. It's <laughs> alphabetical. <laughs> alphabetical. <laughs> down, down, down. Road trip. No. P. In the P section. P section. Panic room. <laughs> You're close. Payback. Close. Paycheck. Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Pet Cemetery 2, Phantasm, Point Break, Poltergeist. Poltergeist! Oh, Poltergeist! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, Whose who show did you review that uh, on? Cinema Trips? Yes. Yes. It was Cinema uh, Trips. I watched that Cheating episode. It was you very did? good. It was very Thank good. Thank you. Tony's Actually, in the comments like, uh, doesn't she own act the movie? <laughs> <laughs> You're my property. Don't you know that? <laughs> Fuck. I don't give a shit. People are like, can you believe she did this? I'm like, I don't care. They're like, oh, she's cheating on Tony. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> she's her own woman. Jesus. Yes. Go back in the cage after this episode. Fuck. She is her own woman and can make her own decisions, <laughs> much to my dismay. Uh, but, you know. I wouldn't. I Tony's mean, just a disappointed father. <laughs> Tony allows me to do other things. I'm allowed to be in other movies and stuff like that, which is well, you know, also. As long movie, as you're not more famous than me. A movie yeah. called I Love Julia coming out this summer. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, sorry. I love and that. I am doing the show. Keep watching it. Oh. Uh, it will be in the retroware store soon, but the new shirts have been printed. Oh, see? I, uh, had the red and white shirts, uh, done again. I think I picked better fabric. Um, and then the famous Tony peak shirt, it exists. There are a hundred of them spanning across different sizes. You know, you know what we should get right as a yeah. t-shirt, you know, that image that was drawn up. Uh, of us one of your viewers as us as Batman and Robin and, yeah. and, uh, and Batgirl. Yeah, that's an exclusive background. But if you get that on a t-shirt, dude, I would wear that. I, I am thinking of I making too. that a poster. I would yeah, wear you that. Should. The other poster I want to make. Who's the uh, viewer made? Because it's fantastic, yeah. dude. Uh, Xander oh, did no, that. Xander, yeah, Xander did, did that I one. Love it. That was our exclusive backgrounds that we do at the $10 tier on Patreon. You also get exclusive live streams and access to our live episodes. Yeah, uh, yeah Xander did that one, drawn like Phantasm. Uh, that's Nick right, Code. Phantasm, that's who you are. That's Nick Code is, did yeah. the awesome Batman '89 poster, but it's the hack the movie's H, 
That is a wallpaper you can get on Patreon. Cool I might get those I printed. I would get that as I a shirt, so. dude. I would love to, I, I I told him, like, I kind of love this design. I kind of want to print it yeah. as a poster. Because cool. it's it's a good poster because, like, we can all sign yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still yeah, a yeah. sucker for the Dune one. Oh, the, Dune the Dune one's good too. The Dune one's good too. Tony's head. What posters are, or like what images do you guys like? That's Let like us know. posters or t-shirts and but, stuff like uh, that. But keep an eye on the RetroWare store. Uh, they should be at it soon. Sweet. Um, so I will link to that. And uh, yeah, just keep watching. Uh, this came, this comes out after too many games, so I assume people met some of us there. Yeah, which is fun. And then. Uh, which we call it? We will be at VHS Fest. Yes, we will. Frank won't. He'll be in Italy with Fuck all those yeah. Italians. Make That's sure it. you remember what was it? What was the la- what Muschetti. Was it? Muschetti. Too much spaghetti. Yes. Yes. Now and we then <laughs> um, <laughs> what you got? Uh, in September, like 16th, 17th, we will be at PA Horrorcon. That's yes. 10 minutes away from here. I want you that that one. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna start showing up to all of them. Good. And then everyone's gonna be like, oh, Frank made it. And I'll be like, yeah, but Tony didn't want me here. <laughs> Tony doesn't want any of us actually right? there. He's like, fans, come to me. I was, like, so, I was, was so jealous of the Flash that he was able to, to just people. have adventures with himself. I'm like, if only. If only. And then I watch <laughs> Multiplicity with uh, Michael Keaton. I'm like, if only I could just replicate myself and do the whole show with just me. If only if I could Perfect. just do a younger me. And, <laughs> yeah. that's so anyway, let us know what you thought of The Flash. Is it the greatest thing ever? Is it the worst thing ever? Uh, let us know if you picked up on any references that we might have missed. Apparently there's a bunch sprinkled a lot. out. Yeah. There's a lot. It's, it's rough reviewing movies like right when they come out it and is. doing this show because it's like all the other ones we've watched a million times. Yes. So you can pick it really yes. apart. But, it's but really uh, yeah, and if you like us talking about DC stuff, we have a Batman playlist. I think we have a DC superhero playlist uh, that you can go back and check out. Uh, a while back, me and you did Superman Returns. That was a lot yeah, of fun. One day we're going to do Man of Steel. <laughs> one day one we will day, go through baby. these. One day they will join That's you like in the sun. That's like his last one he ever wants to right? do. Right, Tony? One day they'll join you. I in mean, we have three Nolan movies we can do before that. Ooh. Those are great. Those are great. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah, that's the thing. Nolan's universe was left completely absent in this. Yeah. I offered to be in it. I offered to come back as my character as football yeah. attendee. They should have thrown you in. I should have been in it. I should have used, been in used it. Used my cut scene from the Joker. Or you should have been in it. Like, oh, this is a universe yeah. where the Joker saw one extra guy well, on the extra street guy that day. By him. Uh, yeah, Ooh. and then as long as Crystal's not in any of them, I'm fine. Goodbye, everyone. Ciao. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.